Chapter 3121 Giving a Treasure Pill Violet Chi shook the heavens like thunder. The blood sword unleashed waves of brilliant sword light and a divine rumbling as it slashed toward the earth element expert. Boom. Violet Chi exploded amongst the dust, striking the hammer. After that, the earth element expert's arms exploded, and he smashed into the barrier. Just at this moment, a violet blood sword rested on his neck. Luo Shue was so pale that her face had lost any rosiness. Even standing was difficult for her, but there was a determination in her eyes that shook people's hearts. You've lost. The earth element expert's expression was extremely unsightly. It was the difference of just a single move. It wasn't that he was weaker, but that he wasn't as ruthless as her. Luo Shue had accepted an injury from his attack after weakening it through her violet sword chi and sacrificing her sword all to condense her essence blood into a killing blow. As for himself, after using that thunderous attack, he hadn't had the power to receive her counterattack. He looked at Luo Shue. She had clearly used up everything. Just standing there was taking everything she had. If he attacked her now, he would definitely be able to kill her. But he shook his head and sighed. Fine. A defeat is a defeat. Thank you for not killing me. This person could count as not bad. He directly admitted defeat. Although the reward was important, people still had to have a sense of shame. They were then sent out of the martial stage. Luo Shue returned with an excited expression, but she staggered, unable to even stand. Luo Bing needed to support her. All of them were excited, but Long Chen was speechless. The Luo family's disciples truly viewed the family's glory too importantly. Even their own lives were unimportant in comparison. He had already told Luo Shue not to risk her life, but she had still done so. Although she had won, the price was truly immense. It might even affect her future cultivation. In Long Chen's view, this was extremely not worth it, but Luo Shue felt like she had profited. Luo Bing took out a medicinal pill for her, but Long Chen grabbed it, leaving them stunned. He sighed. Why did you have to go all out like this? Is the reward really worth it? Your essence blood is now severely deficient, and even your spirit root is affected. An ordinary medicinal pill contains some pill toxins that are usually negligible. But if you consume one now, the pill toxin will affect your spirit root and your future cultivation. Long Chen tossed Luo Bing's high-grade pill aside like it was trash. He then took out a case and opened it. After that, a dense medicinal fragrance assaulted their noses. There was a pill the size of a longan fruit inside. Runes flowed on top of it like they were swimming. Upon seeing it, everyone's heart pounded. Top grade spirit pill. Even Lu Mingxuan cried out in shock. This top grade spirit pill's medicinal energy has been perfectly sealed inside. The Da runes on top of it even seem to possess their own spirituality. This is truly rare. You have some experience. But a top grade spirit pill's Da runes are not so spiritual. Said Long Chen. Heavens. Don't tell me that this is a legendary treasure pill. Lu Mingxuan covered her mouth, looking at him in disbelief. Long Chen didn't reply. He only took out the pill and gave it to Luo Shue. Eat it. Your foundation won't be harmed. However, it will take at least three days to fully recover, and you cannot fight anyone during this time. So there's no way for you to participate in the next round. I can only do this much. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. This is too much. I can't accept. Luo Shue looked at this incomparably precious treasure pill. She didn't have that much of a relationship with Long Chen. They had only met due to the family's orders. She had never seen a treasure pill in her life. Actually, she hadn't even seen a top grade spirit pill. But she knew that a treasure pill was something that countless people would never get a glimpse at in their entire lifetime. Accepting such a thing would be too much of a favor. Don't be so wishy-washy. Just treat it as me becoming your big brother. A big brother won't just watch as his little sister is injured. So many people are watching. So don't make them laugh. Said Long Chen. Glancing at Luo Ning. Luo Ning understood and directly received the pill and sent it into Luo Zhu's mouth without giving her a chance to decline. In her weak state, she couldn't even refuse. After she consumed it, they were shocked to see blood return to her white face. Even her blood chi and exhausted soul instantly recovered. No wonder treasure pills were so precious. This effect was something that they couldn't believe. 
Luo Shue had been like a lamp about to be extinguished, but this one pill made her recover to at least 50% in just a moment. I, I, Luo Shue wanted to express her thanks, but she didn't even know what to say. When she opened her mouth, her voice was choked with sobs. Don't be so emotional. This thing might be a treasure to others, but it's nothing to me. You've recovered to 50% and your injury has stabilized, but that's just an outer appearance. You need to focus on recuperating during this time and lock down the medicinal energy, said Long Chen. Luo Shue gratefully nodded her head and sat to the side to rest. In any case, being able to get into the top hundred already satisfied her. After getting into the top hundred, other than the top three, the rewards were the same. Hence, there was no longer any need to go all out. Big Brother Long Chen, if a treasure pill is nothing to you, how about you give one to me too? You are my dear big brother. No, my dear grandpa. Just give me one please. Lu Mingxuan pulled on Long Chen's hand. Go over there. Suddenly having this dirty woman hold his hand gave him goosebumps. He immediately snatched his hand out of her hold. That speechless expression of his made everyone laugh. So Long Chen also had something that he feared. The competition continued. After eight rounds, Long Chen's tablet lit up. Brother San, be careful, said Mu Qingyan. Long Chen would fight against Chu Shuang. However, he didn't seem to care about his opponent at all, as if the latter was just a rabbit he was about to kill. Mu Qingyan was worried that he was being careless. You should have that Chu fellow be careful. Chin Feng couldn't help laughing. Just how could she worry about his boss Novaloon.com Long Chen was sent onto the martial stage, drawing out thunderous cheering from the crowd. They were finally witnessing him fight again. Chapter 3122 Heavenly Flame Azure Rainbow Flame I really don't understand. When did this fellow get so popular? Seeing countless experts cheering for Long Chen, Lu Mingxuan was a bit curious. There were even many men cheering for Long Chen. You don't understand boss's charisma. In the mortal world, our boss was the most brilliant existence in the world. Regretfully. Boss started to conceal his light when he came to the immortal world. So you don't know just how outstanding he is. Boss has an irresistible charisma that makes people willing to follow him into battle and die a hundred deaths without regret. Said Chin Feng as he looked at Long Chen's back. You're bragging. I don't believe you. Said Lu Mingxuan. I also didn't believe it at the start. Chin Feng shrugged. After saying that, Chin Feng didn't continue. So Lu Mingxuan couldn't help asking, what happened afterwards? Afterwards, everyone in that world believed it. Under bosses led, we fought in the battle that destroyed the entire world. In that battle mountains of corpses piled up and rivers of blood flowed. The entire world collapsed. Many people died. At this point, Qin Feng thought of the dragon blood warriors that had died in that battle. Upon thinking of how they had fallen one by one, pain flashed through his eyes. Perhaps it is because of that battle that boss reserved his light and covered up his charisma. But when he encounters a strong opponent, he'll have to show his unrivaled air again. Just wait. Mu Qingyan and the others had also heard Long Chen mention the battle that had destroyed their world. But neither Long Chen nor Qin Feng seemed willing to discuss it further. They were fiercely curious. Long Chen, I've let you be arrogant for a long time. It's finally time to take your life. Do you have any final words? Chu Shuang's appearance was nothing special, but his voice was extremely resounding. He formed hand seals, and divine light appeared behind him. Within that divine light was a cluster of flames. The cluster of flames started at the size of a palm, but as he spoke, they rapidly grew. By the end, they were a sea of flames that twisted his side of the stage. The barrier covering the martial stage shuddered. Countless runes then lit up and covered the barrier. Heavens, what kind of flame is that? It's forcing the martial stage to strengthen its defenses. The battle hadn't even started, but the martial stage was already strengthening its barrier. That showed that the power of this flame was threatening its formation. Look, the martial stage is starting to melt. A startled cry rang out. As those flames raged, the bricks of the stage began to melt, leaving people dumbfounded. Half the martial stage became a pool of lava as the flames melted the bricks. The intense heat that came through the barrier left people shaking. 
They were all worried that the barrier would burst and the heat would strike them directly, turning them into cooked pigs. Within the sea of flames and lava, a rainbow streak appeared. That's rank 197 of the Heavenly Flame rankings. The Azure Rainbow Flame, shouted an experienced expert. As expected, those three fellows are up to something. Beishishi looked into the distance. Chu Gan, Chu Ren, and Chu Jen were all covering their bodies with black blankets. That appearance was a bit strange. They were most likely forming hand seals under the blankets. They really do have a combination technique to cheat through the formation. Chu Gan was almost killed by Long Chen last time, but they activated it at the last second. It seems that their true target is Long Chen, said Luo Qing. Before this, she had felt some doubt. After all, none of them had seen the Chu family's experts do anything. However, she had still listened to him. The main reason was because the family had told her to form a good relationship with Long Chen. After all, they owed him a huge favor. So as long as it didn't betray her principles, she didn't mind conceding. Just because he had said so, Luo Qing had given up on fighting, losing her chance to advance. Although she hadn't said anything, she didn't like it. However, seeing this, she was now sure that he was correct. Long Chen, have you been scared stupid? You can't even speak? What happened to your heroism during the Tao discussion convention? Sneered Chu Shuang. All the spectators had been focused on Chu Shuang when they saw him summon a heavenly flame. Now they once more turned toward Long Chen. They now saw that Long Chen's expression was a bit odd. It seemed almost happy, amiable, as if he was seeing a treasure. In truth, the instant Long Chen saw Chu Shuang summon the Azure Rainbow Flame, he almost laughed. Was the Chu family intentionally sending him a gift? Fortunately, his willpower was strong enough, or he would have cried out in joy. He had always been thinking of how to obtain more Heavenly Flames to strengthen Huo Long, but Heavenly Flames were too precious and difficult to obtain. Although the High Firmament Academy had heavenly flames, they were treasures of the Pill Institute. When he asked the Seven Star Elder, he was informed that they were so precious that the Institute had viewed them more importantly than his own wives. Unless someone had made huge contributions to the Academy or the Pill Institute, there was no way to obtain them. The Institute had would rather have you carve out a piece of his flesh than part with a heavenly flame. But now... Chu Shuang had taken out the incomparably precious rank 197 heavenly flame in front of him. Long Chen no longer felt right cursing him, so he didn't respond to Chu Shuang's provocations. After all, this was someone sending him a gift. Fine, fine, I'm rarely so kind. Leave behind the azure rainbow flame and I won't make things hard on you. You can kill yourself. After pondering for a moment, Long Chen sighed and waved his hand a bit unwillingly. Lu Mingxuan almost reeled. After hesitating for so long, just as she thought he was coming up with some marvelous verse, he actually said such a thing. Even the spectators looked at each other oddly. Just what was Long Chen doing? Was he afraid? His words were odd. No, that wasn't in accordance with his wild and domineering manner, was it? Just at this moment, the barrier separating them vanished. Chu Shuang raised his head and laughed, with death at hand, you're still in the mood to joke? Foolish fellow, I'll show you my true power. Chu Shuang's hand seals changed, and the lava transformed into flame drakes that attacked Long Chen. Chapter 3123 Nine Dragon Space Sealing Formation Just as the sea of lava rumbled, Chu Shuang vanished. He appeared far in the distance. It seems that you're afraid? If you're this afraid of dying, you shouldn't have even come said Long Chen, ignoring the sea of lava and instead gazing contemptuously at Chu Shuang's caution. In truth, Chu Shuang was correct to do this. Long Chen's ephemeral movement technique was truly frightening. Once Long Chen approached him, it would be dangerous. However, he didn't expect that Long Chen would simply stand there, quietly looking at his display. Chu Shuang felt a burning sensation on his face. Idiot, if you're not afraid of dying. Why don't you just go die? Roared Chu Shuang. I want to, but the heavens refuse to accept me, and hell rejects me. I can't do anything about it, said Long Chen, shrugging helplessly. Even at such a time, Long Chen was so confident. The sea of lava had already surrounded him, 
and he had lost the initiative. But seeing Long Chen looking down on him, Chu Xuan was enraged. However, he was also delighted. He had prepared many backups precisely because he was worried about Long Chen escaping his control. Unexpectedly, Long Chen was cooperating with him. The sea of lava quickly spread, leaving only a small space around Long Chen. Long Chen, you're very arrogant, but you'll pay a huge price for that arrogance today. You have confidence in yourself, but have you heard that those who drown are people who know how to swim? As for those with tough mouths, they are all beaten to death for them. Chu Xuan had easily summoned a sea of lava that spanned the entire martial stage. His confidence soared. Standing on the sea of lava, he sneered at Long Chen. There's no need to say any meaningless words to stall for time. Am I not cooperating with you perfectly for your arrangement? Don't fart out of your throat. Unleash any technique you want. I'll let you unleash your ultimate attacks. And I won't even interrupt you. As for why, it's because Ba San is just that arrogant. Use any move you wish. That big fellow and the fatty both showed their power. I was planning on being more Loki, but I gave those two too much face. Ba San doesn't dislike arrogant people, but I do dislike people who are more arrogant than me. Today, no matter what move you use, I won't stop you. I will show them that in front of the boss, they can't act like a badass. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back. An uproar exploded amongst the spectators. Was the big fellow and fatty that he was referring to Ku Wuya and Ji Yu Yan? Was he challenging the two of them? Ku Wuya had already used his physical body to block the attack of a treasure item, shocking everyone. He had also challenged Long Chen. As for Ji Yu Yan, he hadn't challenged him, but from his gaze, it seemed that it was because he didn't even care about Long Chen. Now Long Chen was borrowing Chu Shuang to slap them in the face. Upon looking from the sea of lava and surging drakes, to the completely indifferently arrogant Long Chen, cheers erupted from the spectator stands. Long Chen was actually challenging two terrifying experts. As spectators, they all looked forward to seeing a marvelous battle. Even people who didn't like him cheered just to instigate Ku Wuya and Ji Yu Yun's anger. In any case, they weren't the ones risking their lives. Thunderous cheering erupted. Whether it was sincere or fake, in any case, the cheering shook the stage. Long Chen had ignited their passions so easily. Idiot. Who do you think you are? You won't have that chance. You will die here. Chu Xuan was so angry that his nose was bent askew. Long Chen was actually treating him as a tool to grow his own fame. Treating this battle as a performance for challenging Ku Wu Ai and Ji Yu Ai Yun. That was an absolute insult to him. In his fury, Chu Xuang began to form hand seals. The lava instantly grew active. One moment. Long Chen suddenly raised his hand. What? Do you have some final words? Sneered Chu Shuang. However, his hand seals continued, albeit a bit slower. Long Chen curled his lips and disdainfully said, Is there something wrong with your head? The flame runes still aren't fully saturated. If you attack now, it will affect how your power multiplies in a bit. You must fully saturate your flame runes before the first attack in order to establish the foundation when you add in your heavenly Tao energy. Don't worry, I'll just stand here and give you plenty of time. I'm not in a rush. So why are you? If I didn't want you to unleash your full power, I'd have slapped you to death right at the start. Then wouldn't I be laughed at by those two fellows? Who do you think Ba San is? Scolded Long Chen. You. Chu Xuan was enraged but also shocked that Long Chen had seen through his ploy. His flame runes were hidden under the lava so that no one could see them. He did this to allow those flame runes to bait heavenly Tao energy like fish bait. It was to draw out heavenly Tao energy for a terrifying attack. Just as Long Chen said, those flame runes hadn't reached their full potential yet. They were about 80%. The reason he wanted to attack now was partially due to Long Chen's instigation but also because he felt that this would be enough to kill Long Chen. However, Long Chen had seen through it, shocking him. All his ploys were seen through, so he felt an indescribable unease and fear. Don't worry, to tell the truth, against the Chu family, there's no need for me to use any sinister plots. You can freely unleash all your power. I'll show those two toads at the bottom of the well that the world is far greater than they know. Ba San's power isn't something ants like you can imagine. 
said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you really are arrogant. Since you're so confident, I won't stand on courtesy. Don't kneel and beg for mercy in a bit. Chu Shuang laughed furiously. Chu Shuang's hand seals changed. At this moment, the raging sea of lava settled and the flames in the sky vanished. The sea of lava covering the martial stage was as quiet as the surface of a lake, but hidden behind that calmness was a terrifying energy. Chu Shuang's body began to quiver. Veins throbbed on his forehead. Right now, strange runes flickered within his eyes. Boom. Suddenly, the sea of lava exploded. Giant flame drakes flew out of the sea, roaring. So you've taken out your heavenly flame seeds. Seeing those nine flame dragons, Long Chen couldn't suppress his excitement. Within his body, Huo Long was roaring with excitement. Nine dragon space ceiling formation Chu Shuang roared, and his hand seals once more changed. The nine dragons flew at Long Chen from nine different directions. Chapter 3124 Your dad caught in a jar nine giant flame dragons roared and charged at Long Chen. Their power caused the martial stage to shudder. Even the people outside the barrier felt suffocating pressure. This power, people were shocked. What kind of magical art possessed such immense pressure? Who could endure such a thing? All right, let's do it. But don't be hasty. If he sees through it, you won't get to eat your fill. Huo Long was already filled with a sense of urgency. While Long Chen pretended to form hand seals with one hand. In reality, he had no idea what these seals were. Countless runes appeared around Long Chen. Those were dragon-shaped runes that formed a defensive barrier around him. Following that, the barrier instantly spread and crashed into the nine dragons. Boom. Countless flame runes erupted, and lava raged like a tsunami, crashing against the stage's barrier. Startled cries rang out from the spectators. If the barrier was broken, they would be doomed. Fortunately, the barrier only quivered a few times before settling. Looking within, they saw the nine dragons biting the giant sphere of flame runes. The sphere shuddered but its runes circulated, blocking the charge of the flame dragons. You only have this little bit of power? You really disappoint me. Long Chen shook his head at Chu Shuang. Chu Shuang sneered. Idiot. Do you realize that you're definitely dead today? Do you know what these nine dragons are? I really don't. Seeing that Chu Shuang was stalling for time. Long Chen intentionally acted curious. These nine flame dragons are my heavenly flame seeds. Through three generations of my Chu family's experts nourishing them, they finally awakened their spirituality in my generation. They are my core flame, my life flame. Do you know what that is? Long Chen almost got angry. This fellow's way of stalling for time was terrible. He cursed. Fuck. Do you really think I'm an idiot? You think I don't know what a life flame is? Shut your mouth. I'll say it for you. You wish to say that a life flame can be considered a split body for you due to it having your spiritual seal. Then using the sea of lava as a vector, you will summon the power of the flames of the 10,000 deos. After that, the nine flame dragons will absorb that energy and unleash endless power. Under your control, the nine flame dragons will use their killing blows, and I will be your dad caught in a jar. Is that right? Just as everyone was seriously listening to Long Chen's explanation, the last thing that he said, subverting the common expression of a tortoise caught in a jar, came so suddenly that people couldn't help laughing. The tense atmosphere instantly came undone. Brother San is always like this. Mu King Gaian covered her mouth as she laughed. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were the same. For Long Chen to act like this, they knew that everything was under his control. There was no need to worry. Just at this moment, countless translucent runes appeared, flying into the barrier from every direction and merging into the sea of lava. Those translucent runes contained powerful flame auras. Once they merged into the sea of lava, they vanished. As for the sea of lava, it began to boil, its flame energy growing even denser. Boss San's words were correct it's all going as he said, as expected of the champion of the Tao discussion convention. His eyes have long since seen through everything. Is there anyone still doubting Ba San's skills? Do their faces not hurt? Countless disciples sighed in amazement when they saw things going just as Long Chen said. The reason why they liked to watch Long Chen fight was precisely because they wanted to see his fighting corroborate what he had said during the Tao discussion. After all, 
principles and reality were not always in accordance. Only when they were in accordance could people truly comprehend them. Regretfully, before Long Chen, no one who participated in the Tao discussion convention also participated in the martial Tao discussion, either because their Tao principles were nothing more than words on paper, or they were simply too old. So what if you know? Didn't you still fall into my trap? Said Chu Xuan while feeling shocked that he had been seen through. Fallen into your trap? Do you think that this counts as a trap? This is nothing more than a game that a three-year-old would play. Use any technique or scheme you want. Don't tell me that these little fish are your trump card. If that's the case, you've really disappointed me. Ignoring everything else, if I just maintain this defensive barrier, you won't even be able to break it. This is the Chu family's four heroes? Are you trying to be a joke? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Naturally, this barrier was created by Huo Long. As the nine dragons tore at it, Huo Long absorbed their power. In order to not be exposed, Long Chen told Huo Long only to absorb the power that they unleashed and not their core energy. If only the energy that they emitted was absorbed, Chu Xuan would only feel that it was a trick of the defensive barrier. Huo Long was now absorbing the power of the Azure Rainbow Flame. Although it wasn't as much as if Huo Long absorbed the Flame Dragon's core energy, things were progressing well. After all, although Huo Long was powerful, the strongest flame within it was only the Scarlet Spirit Flame, ranked 573 on the Heavenly Flame rankings. Chu Shuang's Azure Rainbow Flame was almost 400 ranks above it. The difference was immense. But even though Chu Shuang's flame control ability was quite marvelous, these nine heavenly flame seeds couldn't control themselves as perfectly as Huo Long. Despite having awakened their spirituality, they were still in a hazy state and didn't know how to control their power. They could only attack using the most primitive styles. Huo Long would find it very difficult to directly devour them considering the power disparity. Even then, it would need to handle them fighting back as it devoured them. It would need to fall into slumber to digest their power. To lose such a powerful trump card at this critical time would be terrible for Long Chen. So what Long Chen wanted was to devour the Azure Rainbow Flame's power and immediately be able to control it. Let me see how long your mouth can stay so tough. You have no idea what my true trump card is. What are you doing? Rage Chu Shuang suddenly. Chapter 3125 Silently profiting Long Chen had taken out a recliner and was holding a ceramic wine cup. He then lazily leaned back against his recliner, seemingly enjoying the afternoon sun. That appearance of his infuriated Chu Shuang. He was actually treated as nothing more than empty air. Even in this battle, Long Chen was in the mood to drink wine. This was the greatest insult to him even worse than someone shouting curses. As for the spectators, they were dumbfounded. What level of disdain and apathy was this? Luo Bing and the others were also shocked. On the other hand, Chu Xuang was going crazy with rage. As the mortal enemy of the Chu family, for the first time, I'm feeling a trace of sympathy for the Chu family's people. This doesn't count as betraying the family, right? Luo Ning covered her mouth and laughed. Chu Xuang was quivering with rage. His face was so twisted that it wasn't even possible to see his original appearance. It shouldn't count. I'm also feeling a bit of sympathy, laughed Luo Xue. Long Chen, you go too far. Chu Xuang raised his head and roared, feeling like he was going to explode. He wanted to charge straight through the barrier and bite Long Chen to death. Unfortunately, he didn't dare to approach Long Chen. Based on the information that he had, he knew that approaching Long Chen signified death, so he could only hide in the distance. What are you shouting for? Your Chu family is most skilled in using sinister traps, right? Just keep going. I'll only put up this one barrier. If you can break it, you will be qualified to fight directly against me. Otherwise, don't even bother. Long Chen leaned back, staring at the amber wine in his cup. He couldn't even be bothered to look at his opponent. You. Chu Shuang exploded with rage, but just as he was about to change hand seals, Chu Ren's voice rang out from the depths of his soul. Don't rush. Let him be arrogant for now. Continue wearing down the power of his barrier and accumulate your own power. Once you've raised your attack power enough, launch the killing blow. 
blow him up along with his barrier the Chu family's four heroes had come prepared. They actually weren't given special treatment from Silver Moon City, so the reason why they could chat and support each other even through the formation was because they had four faith divine beads. Through the faith divine beads, they were capable of transmitting their energy and information. However, their goal was to kill Long Chen, Bei Shishi, as well as the Luo family's heavenly geniuses. Unfortunately, Chu Gan had been too arrogant in his fight against Long Chen, saying that he wouldn't use their combination techniques unless he was going to be defeated. As a result, by the time he wanted to use it, it was already too late. Fortunately, they managed to save his life at the last moment. However, their trick was seen through by Long Chen, and they hadn't managed to use it again. Today, they immediately joined forces against Long Chen. All four of them had linked up their energy through the Faith Divine Beads. However, they had yet to use that power yet. They didn't know if this combination art had been seen through yet, but they hoped to keep it secret so that they could use the same method to kill Bei Shishi later. Chu Shuang slowly calmed himself down, thinking about it. Chu Ren was correct. Why bother quibbling with a dead person? So, he slowly formed hand seals, causing countless runes to gather from outside the barrier into the sea of lava. The nine dragons continued to bite at Long Chen's runic barrier. Runic chains appeared and bound the runic sphere, making sure that Long Chen was tightly bound. However, Long Chen completely ignored Chu Shuang's actions. He seemed to be constantly savouring his wine. Despite how powerful the nine flame dragons grew, they were nothing more than large oafs. Huo Long was easily capable of duping them. As time passed, Huo Long absorbed more and more of their energy, strengthening itself. The most laughable thing was that if Huo Long wanted to digest the Azure Rainbow Flame's core energy, it would require quite a bit of effort. But Chu Shuang was saving the Azure Rainbow Flame's core energy and so he was using heavenly Dao flames to support his flame dragons. As a result, those heavenly Dao flames became the perfect nutrients that helped Huo Long absorb the Azure Rainbow Flame. Clearly, Chu Shuang was worried that Huo Long wouldn't be able to absorb his flame and was helping out. It was to the extent that Long Chen didn't even feel good about provoking him further. Novaloon.com Luo Bing and the others did start to feel some worry upon seeing endless flame runes gathering into Chu Shuang's lava. But seeing how confident Long Chen was, they pushed their worry aside. After the top 128 were decided, the time limit was essentially removed. It was mostly there to prevent someone from stalling and interfering with the convention's rhythm. However, the top 128 were true experts. Everyone wished for their battles to drag on so that they would get to see more. Unfortunately, the majority of these experts preferred to beat their opponents in the shortest time, so victory or defeat was often decided in just a few moves. It was rare for a battle to take more than an incense stick's worth of time. Since there was no time limit, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to stop things. Huo Long continued to absorb the flames. However, seeing Long Chen not summon a manifestation or even enter a battle state, quite a few people were sweating for him. Once his barrier was broken, the terrifying attack would crush him before he could summon a second defense. Time passed quickly. An incense stick's worth of time passed, but his barrier was still holding solidly. There wasn't the slightest sign of it breaking. However, suddenly, the sea of lava surged. The nine flame dragons blazed with divine light. Die. The silent Chu Shuang suddenly roared, and an immense power erupted out of the nine flame dragons' mouths. Boom. The aura of the nine dragons instantly grew by several times, and Long Chen's barrier began to rumble. Chu Shuang's sudden attack caused everyone to jump. As the nine dragons pressed down on it, Long Chen's barrier quivered intensely. The slumbering Long Chen was woken. Long Chen. You'll pay the price for your arrogance. Die in your terror and regret. Chu Shuang sneered as he could sense Long Chen's barrier weakening. The nine dragons were crushing it. Oh, you must have another big move, said Long Chen. Of course. Just watch. Chu Shuang raised his head and laughed. After rapidly forming hand seals, a divine statue appeared behind him. A flame rune then lit up on his forehead. At the same time, an identical rune lit up on all nine flame dragons' heads. The martial stage sank. 
Long Chen's defense instantly became covered in cracks, causing Bei Shishi and the others' expressions to change. Chapter 3126 Easily Killed Ha 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 Long Chen, you're too naive. My heavenly flame seeds require my heavenly flame spirit to unleash their true power. Moreover, with Lord Brahma's divine statue supporting me, the flames of the ten thousand deos are mine to control. You cannot escape your death any longer. As Chu Shuang laughed, the divine statue behind him glowed. All the flame energy within heaven and earth grew active, and even the spectators felt like the surrounding space was about to ignite. Their souls were roasting. As for the nine flame dragons, as they bit at Long Chen's defensive barrier, cracks covered the entire barrier as if it might shatter at any moment. However, within the barrier, Long Chen didn't show the slightest bit of panic. This barrier can absorb the outside world's energy to repair itself. As long as it isn't instantly broken, it will constantly restore itself. If you don't believe me, just look. Just at that moment, everyone saw some of the cracks fade. It really was restoring itself. However, this wasn't it restoring itself. It was just Huo Long acting. Huo Long had condensed the core energy of the Azure Rainbow Flame, and flames that were of the same nature had great difficulty harming each other. Huo Long was just acting according to Long Chen's instructions, faking that the barrier was near destruction. Unless you destroy my barrier in one blow. It's meaningless Long Chen stood up from his recliner and stretched nonchalantly. He didn't seem the slightest bit concerned. The cracks on the barrier were slowly fading. It seemed that it wouldn't be long before the barrier was fully restored. Shocking everyone. HMPH. You really are naive. I'll show you my true killing blow. Chu Shuang sneered and pressed his hands together, chanting some scripture. As the chanting rang out, flame runes appeared within heaven and earth. They flooded into the sea of lava. As a result, the sea of lava grew explosively along with the martial stage. The nine flame dragons also grew with it. It's the Nirvana scripture. Startled cries rang out. The Nirvana scripture was known as the number one flame element sutra of the nine heavens and ten lands. The strongest of all flame element techniques. It was famous to the extent that only a few people had not heard of it. With the support of the scripture. All the flame energy within heaven and earth fell under his control. As a result, Long Chen's barrier once more became covered in cracks. One of the dragon's teeth even pierced through it. Bastards. They're cheating suddenly. A startled cry split the air. Everyone followed where that person was pointing to see that Chu Gan, Chu Zhen, and Chu Ren were also forming hand seals and chanting. A rune had appeared on their foreheads as well. The blankets covering their movements had been blown apart, revealing their actions. Chu Shuang was using too much power for them to help him without anyone noticing. They're joining forces to kill Boss Long San. Despicable. A flagrant violation of the rules. Long Chen's barrier became riddled with cracks. It was on the verge of destruction. Just at that moment, a flame spear pierced through the back of Chu Shuang's head. The rune on his forehead was shattered by the spear. Chu Gan. Chu Zhen, and Chu Ren's heads all exploded at the same time. This sudden change made everyone jump in shock. After that, the barrier around Long Chen vanished. A dragon roar then rang out, and a flame dragon flew out, opening its mouth. Like a whale taking in water, it sucked in the nine flame dragons and the sea of lava, as well as that crumbled rune on Chu Shuang's forehead. The martial stage returned to its normal appearance with the loss of the sea of lava, with a thud. Chu Shuang's headless corpse fell in front of Long Chen's feet. Everyone, including Bei Shishi, was stunned. Long Chen had not just killed Chu Shuang, but he had even slain Chu Gan, Chu Ren, and Chu Zhen at the same time. It was sudden and bizarre. Looking at the corpse at his feet, Long Chen shook his head. So sorry, I forgot to tell you that my flame control is not inferior to anyone. How does it feel to die to your own heavenly flame? Originally. Long Chen had been planning on killing Chu Shuang openly. However, when Huo Long gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame, it also became capable of controlling the Sea of Lava's power without Chu Shuang even noticing. Furthermore, absorbing so much energy caused Huo Long's intelligence to rise. Although it still hadn't reached the point of transforming, it had recovered the majority of its spirituality from the Martial Heaven Continent. 
Long Chen then had Huo Long try using its energy through the sea of lava in preparation for a killing blow. But due to linking with the other three, Chu Shuang's sense of danger had grown muddled. He didn't even realize that Huo Long had gained control over his domain. Just as the four of them began to chant the scripture together, Huo Long attacked, killing the main body, Chu Shuang. When the main body suddenly died, their combination technique was broken. As a result, the terrifying manifestation brought on by the Nirvana scripture lost its balance, and the backlash took three of their lives as well. Everything was within Long Chen's calculations. No one understood Nirvana scripture better than he did. The only difference was that he was supposed to be the one to launch the killing blow, but it had been switched to Huo Long. A trivial difference. As a result of this, no one else knew what technique he had used to kill the four of them. It gave him an extra layer of mystery. Furthermore, he also saw Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Yun's expressions change ever so slightly. They hadn't managed to see through the clues. I'll scare them to death. Long Chen sneered inside. Would they continue to act badass now? Just then, Long Chen was sent out of the martial stage. He hadn't even had to do anything. But the four heavenly geniuses of the Chu family were dead. There was no clapping this time. Only a silent fear. In comparison to Ku Wu Aya and Ji Yu Yun's one blow kills. Long Chen's no blow. For kill result was far more stunning. Boss is mighty. Chin Feng was the first to congratulate Long Chen. In comparison to the other people's shock. He didn't find it odd at all. No matter what happened. When it came to Long Chen. It wasn't that surprising. What did you use to kill them? Despite knowing that she shouldn't ask. Lu Mingxuan couldn't help herself. I didn't do anything. He simply killed himself. My guess is that they had some enmity between them. So he dragged the three of them along with him. Come. Let us pray for them. In truth. I don't feel like they were that bad. Said Long Chen solemnly. Screw off. Only a ghost would believe you. Lu Mingxuan rolled her eyes. Actually. Even a ghost wouldn't believe it. Long Chen returned to his seat and looked inside the primal chaos space, wanting to see how Huo Long was. However, when he looked inside, his body quivered. This is, an expression of wild delight appeared on his face. He almost jumped out of joy. Chapter 3127 Heavenly Dao Fruit Reappears Heavens Heavenly Dao Fruit Inside the primal chaos space the heavenly Tao tree that had been silent for a long time had borne fruit once more. There were now four fruits on its branches. The heavenly Tao tree was the source of the dragonblood legion's rise. Without it, the current dragonblood legion wouldn't exist. It had completely changed their fates. Upon entering the immortal world, the heavenly Tao tree's fruit had vanished. It was listless, as if it was dead. However, today, a new light appeared on its leaves. This change made Long Chen take a second look, only to find that it had borne fruit. Long Chen, are you alright? You're frightening me. Seeing Long Chen start shaking as soon as he sat down, and adding on his strange expression, Lu Mingxuan couldn't help asking him if he was alright. I'm fine, I'm fine. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for them to continue watching the battles. His mind then sank into the primal chaos space. These four heavenly Tao fruits should belong to Chu Gan, Chu Zhen, Chu Ren, and Chu Shuang. It seems that killing primals will result in heavenly Tao fruits and will also nourish the heavenly Tao tree. I really have profited this time. The dragonblood warriors can all become primals. He, the dragonblood legion will definitely shake the entire world once more. Long Chen's blood heated up, and he wanted to find all the dragonblood warriors once more. At that time. Who could stop them? Ha ha ha. Thinking of this, Long Che laughed. This laugh disturbed Bei Shishi and the others who were watching the competition. You've gone crazy. Lu Mingxuan stared at Long Chen, almost so disturbed that she took out her weapon. You can keep watching. Chin Fang, come with me. Long Chen left with Chin Fang. In a private room, Long Chen gave him a heavenly Tao fruit. Boss, this heavenly Tao fruit. Chin Fang jumped in shock. The heavenly Tao fruits had left a deep impression on him. It was these fruits that had changed his fate. Now that they had reappeared, his heart pounded. Now he knew why Long Chen was so emotional. This heavenly Tao fruit meant that his fate was about to change once more. Eat it and see what happens. 
I'll guard you. Long Chen was even more impatient than Qin Fang. He urgently wished to know if this heavenly Dao fruit could do what he was imagining. Qin Feng nodded and took a few deep breaths to calm himself down. He devoured the fruit in just a few bites. After that, his entire body instantly grew flushed, as if he was being boiled. An incomparably vast energy then swelled within his body. His clothes blew apart. Countless blood vessels then bulged throughout his body like thin crawling serpents. It was a frightening appearance. But Qin Feng's expression was good. With his blood vessels bulging, it was almost possible to see inside the vessels. Runes were flowing through them. His skin then split open, and blood leaked out. The process was very painful. An ordinary person would definitely be screaming. However, to the dragon blood warriors who had experienced countless heavenly tribulations that had tempered their meridians, this was nothing. Qin Feng was quickly covered in blood. It then formed scabs that covered his entire body before starting to fall, revealing new skin. His blood vessels once more bulged, and his new skin split open and bled. It then scabbed, fell, and was reborn again and again. It was like a butterfly breaking free of its cocoon. It was repeated rebirths. Long Chen could clearly sense Qin Feng's blood qi strengthening with every rebirth. After seven sheddings, Qin Feng's blood qi had risen to a level that shocked Long Chen. Long Chen grabbed Qin Feng's arm and sensed the new power of his physical body and nodded. Boss, I'm now an awakened primal. Qin Feng clenched his fists excitedly, feeling the endless power flowing within his body. He wanted to find some experts to fight against. It's too bad. If I had known that killing primals would condense heavenly Dao fruits, I would have killed a few primals on the way here. Long Chen sighed. If Qin Feng had consumed a heavenly Dao fruit earlier, he wouldn't have been eliminated from the competition. He, it's fine. I'll conceal my power and give them a nice surprise at a critical time. Qin Feng was very satisfied. He didn't care about the competition as what he pursued was power. Long Chen nodded. Take care to cover up your blood qi. Occasionally dressing up like a pig to eat the tiger is fun. Long Chen then continued checking Qin Feng's body and couldn't help frowning. Curious. The four of them had flame energy in their bodies. You consumed their heavenly Dao fruit. But there's not even the slightest flame energy fluctuation in the mortal world. The heavenly Dao fruits could be differentiated by their element. But the four heavenly Dao fruits he had just obtained had no such differentiation. There was no way to tell who they had come from. Qin Feng's physical body was powerful. On the martial heaven continent, he had walked the path of the body cultivator. Hence, his blood qi had now grown to an astonishing level. Even in the Nine Prefecture Convention, only a few primals could match his current blood qi. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Were the immortal world's heavenly Dao fruits based on each person's talent? If that was the case, then he really had profited. Regretfully, he didn't have more people to test it on. He could only wait for a chance. After all, primal heavenly Dao fruits were extremely precious, and he didn't want to waste them. Qin Feng had just awakened his primal bloodline, and his fluctuations weren't completely steady. Because of that, Long Chen told him to rest for a few days to grow accustomed to it. It would be best if no one realized the difference in his aura. Qin Feng went into seclusion, while Long Chen returned to his own room. It took him a long time to settle his emotions. Primals were those that had made a further breakthrough from their own ancestors' powerful bloodlines. Only someone who could condense special bloodline runes could be called a primal. As for Qin Feng, he was originally nothing more than an ordinary person from the mortal world. But the heavenly Dao fruit had allowed him to easily awaken a primal bloodline. This heavenly Dao fruit was a heaven-defying treasure. Ah, that's right. I forgot to check on Huo Long. Long Chen clapped his forehead and hastily checked. Big brother, he was delighted to find Huo Long in a sea of flames. Moreover, Huo Long was actually capable of speaking. Good, you're not that far from transforming now. How are you? Asked Long Chen. He, I've profited this time. That fellow gave me all his power. And it's also very easy to digest. I should be done with it in one day, said Huo Long. He, good, with you. I'm even more confident in this martial Dao convention. That golden dragon scale will definitely be mine. Long Chen clenched his fists, his confidence soaring. 
Huo Long's intelligence had recovered. Together, the two of them would be able to cooperate even better. Chapter 3128 Liao Yu Huang This battle benefited Long Chen immensely. It was because Huo Long had gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame. The Azure Rainbow Flame was wasted in Chu Shuang's hands. Although that fellow was talented, his flame control could only be called immature. It looked mighty, but its actual killing power could not be brought out. However, in Huo Long's hands, it was different. Huo Long was a flame spiritual body, and it could unleash the full potential of the Azure Rainbow Flame. Other than the Azure Rainbow Flame, there were also the four heavenly Tao fruits. With them, Long Chen saw a bright and open path in front of him. He would continue building the Dragon Blood Legion into the Immortal World's number one Legion. This time, the Chu family's people had been sending him a gift, and Long Chen simply couldn't refuse. In comparison to this gift, even those two treasure item arm bracers felt somewhat insignificant. Time passed. It was only after five days that the next round to cut down the 64 experts to 32 started. This was because after the top 64 were decided, there was another round for those that had been eliminated previously to fight for a spot in the top 100. This would decide who would get the rewards. So it took some time. When everyone returned to the stage, cheering once more exploded when Long Chen arrived. Last time, even when the Chu family's people had been cheating, he had used some unknown method to kill all four of them. At that time, they were too stunned to cheer. Perhaps they wanted to make up for it now. So today's cheering was particularly loud. This time, Long Chen waved his hand and cupped his fists toward those people to express his thanks before walking to his spot. Previously, the front runners for the champion position were Ku Wuya and Ji Yu Yan. However, people had to re-evaluate this nine prefecture convention. Other than Ku Wuya and Ji Yu Yan, there was now a dark horse in the form of Long Chen. The power that he had displayed was not inferior to theirs. Furthermore, there were also several other powerful experts. Amongst them, Long Chen's side took up four of them. Up until now, Bei Shishi had only displayed her manifestation. No one could counter her metal energy, and just her manifestation alone was enough to make her opponents admit defeat. Hence, she had yet to reveal her true power. Young Master Chang Chuan was the same. It was unknown who had spread news of him previously fighting Ku Wuya. But this news shook everyone. Adding on that he came from a life-forbidden area, people felt an even higher level of regard for him. As for Bei Ziaol, he was the greatest marvel. No one had yet to counter his three flower pupils. Anyone who fought with him could only sigh sadly. His spatial energy was impossible to break free from. However, among the four of them, people were not so optimistic for Bei Ziaol. Compared to Long Chen, Bei Shishi, and young master Chang Chuan, people felt like he was almost cheating. Bei Ziaol's three flower pupils truly did feel like his only strong point, but real experts had to be strong in all aspects. Just having one move wasn't enough to make you an expert. Furthermore, Bei Ziaol appeared too immature and was not steady enough. He didn't have that domineeringness of an expert. Although his three flower pupils were strong, against true experts, he might be countered. Other than them, two other figures drew the most attention. One was the Zither woman from the Zither sect, while the other was the mysterious one who seemed to have merged with the Tao. She was capable of using heavenly Tao energy without forming hand seals or chanting. From the start, no one had managed to even approach the Zither woman. In the end, they all admitted defeat. As for the other woman, she was never forced to use a second move against her opponents. Even powerful primals were defeated, sometimes without even realizing how they had lost. These two had yet to reveal their true power, making people feel like they were unfathomable. Many experts were guessing just who would ultimately take the champion's crown. With so many powerful competitors, everyone grew even more excited to watch the matches. After all, the majority of these people had come to gain experience by watching such high-level battles they could learn something that matched their own style. In the past, everyone had essentially known who would win by the time the top hundred was decided. There was no suspense. However, this time, it was truly a fight between powerful experts. No one dared to say just who would win. Hence, 
the entire island was covered in an air of suspense. This was definitely the most marvelous nine prefecture convention that people could recall. We've entered the top 64. Boss, give me your blessing. Let me not encounter those monsters. Bezaiol prayed as he saw the lots being picked. How are you going to follow boss like this? Demanded Chin Fang. This fellow was too childish. He had such an amazing divine ability. But he was like a novice. Chin Fang. It seems that your aura has changed. Did you make a breakthrough? Asked young master Chang Chuan. Hearing this. Bei Shishi and the others checked and found that Chin Feng's aura did seem a bit different. But they were unable to tell what exactly was different. I've fought many battles lately. And under boss's guidance, I've gained some new comprehension of the martial Tao. There was a definite increase in my mental realm. This nine prefecture convention has truly benefited me, said Chin Feng. In just a few days, Chin Feng had condensed his own bloodline runes and could control his bloodline power. However, no matter how he concealed himself, the feeling of controlling this absolute power still changed him. His gaze, his confidence. They all changed the air around him. Young Master Chang Chuan and the others had sensed this. Just then, Long Chen's tablet lit up. Long Chen looked and didn't recognize the name, so he felt indifferent. However, just then, the name of his opponent became dim, which indicated that his opponent had admitted defeat. They couldn't even be bothered to set foot onto the stage. Long Chen laughed. It seemed that killing those four fellows from the Chu family had frightened quite a few people. Even in the top 32, people were still admitting defeat directly. Bei Shishi and young master Chang Chuan were both calm. Their opponents weren't Ku Wuaya, Ji Yuai Yun, or those two women. So there was no suspense. However, when Bei Ziaol saw the name on his tablet, he almost wept. Everyone quickly looked. Liao Yu Huang. Chapter 3129 Ziaol admits fear Liao Yu Huang. That was the name of the woman from the Zither sect. The name was a bit strange and not one for a woman. But it was precisely due to this that it was easier to remember. Of course, Ziaol had also memorized it. He had memorized the names of all those he considered monsters. Every time the lots were drawn, he would cover up his tablet and look at the characters one by one. As soon as he saw that their surname was different, he would relax. It was like he was gambling with his tablet. However, Today, his luck wasn't good. As expected, whatever you feared would happen. His opponent was Liao Yu Huang. Ziao, it's your turn, said Lu Mingxuan. How can this be? I'm the seventh match, exclaimed Bei Ziao, in a panic as he tried to think of how to win. People in the first six matches all admitted defeat, said Lu Mingxuan helplessly. Just at this moment, Bei Ziao's tablet began to flash. It really was his turn. In order to win the match to get into the top 64, many people had ended up putting everything on the line. Because of it, they were still injured. Whether they were 64th or 4th, it made no difference to them as the rewards were the same. Hence, they forfeited because they had no intention of getting into the top 3. The first 7 matches at the start, including Long Chen's, all had people directly admit defeat, allowing their opponents to easily pass. Everyone was now much clearer about the power of their competitors. Hence, if their power was equal, there was no need to go all out against them. If their opponent was too strong, then there was no point in even going on stage. Right now, Bei Ziaol was transported to the stage. When he saw the zither woman, he almost wept. But he thickened his face to greet her. Hello, beautiful zither big sister. Junior brother Bei Ziaol has come to learn a bit from senior sister due to boss's orders. If senior sister could give me some pointers, junior brother would be endlessly grateful. I hope senior sister will give face to my boss and have some mercy, and not make junior brother's loss too ugly. Boss said that he would personally treat big sister to a meal after the convention is over. What nonsense. When did I ever say such a thing? Long Chen was speechless. When did this little fellow get such a smooth mouth? Ah, it really is a case of people stained black by the environment. Even this innocent child Ziaol has learned to spout in sincere guilt words, said Bei Shishi indifferently, clearly implying that Bei Ziaol had learned the wrong things from Long Chen. Your boss is Long Chen. Correct Liao Yuhuang smiled at Bei Ziaol. Yes, yes, 
It's him. I know that I can't beat you and wanted to admit defeat, but boss said that a beautiful and kind woman like you won't kill me. Most importantly, he said that exchanging blows with you will benefit me endlessly. So I hope for some pointers, said Bezayol, exceedingly courteously. Hearing that, Long Chen suddenly came to an understanding. Even before Bezayol's three flower eyes were activated, he had possessed the power to see through a person's power. It was precisely due to this that he had taken Long Chen as his boss. This was Bezayol's innate talent. He had definitely sensed something, which was why he was being so courteous to Liao Yu Huang and acting inferior. This way, Liao Yu Huang would definitely have mercy, and there would be no danger even if he was defeated. It seemed that he really did have some smarts. Junior brother is too courteous. Your three flower pupils are manifested from an immemorial divine art. It is filled with endless profundities. Who would dare to be so arrogant as to say that they could give you pointers? However, your three flower pupils have just awakened, and your usage is still rough. There are too many flaws. Against an ordinary expert, it's fine. But against supreme experts, when your pupil arts change, you leave yourself open to having your life taken. All right, since Brother Long is willing to say such a thing, I will embarrass myself. Just then, the barrier separating them vanished. Bezayol had long since prepared his manifestation. Hence, at this moment, an illusory image appeared behind him. It was a pair of giant eyes. This manifestation was not a primal's manifestation because Bezayol had not awakened a primal bloodline. When those giant eyes appeared, it was as if the heavens had set their gaze on Liao Yu Huang. Space around her layered, as if the world was thrown into chaos and heaven and earth had been displaced. Liao Yu Huang's body quivered slightly. After that, she rested her hand on her zither strings. With a single note, an invisible sound wave shot out, restoring the chaotic world. What all the experts that had previously fought against Bezayol were shocked. They had all been defeated by this move. It had to be known that when Bezayol activated his pupil art, heaven and earth were thrown into chaos. Left and right, front and back, up and down. There was no way for them to tell the direction. They might try to charge at Bezayol, only to find themselves getting further and further away. It was a feeling that had driven them mad. However, Liao Yu Huang instantly broke this technique. How could they not be shocked? Bezayol seemed to have expected this. Hence. His hand seals changed, and three flower petals appeared in his giant eyes. The three flower petals then began to revolve. The martial stage instantly changed. It quivered and swayed. Suddenly, the floor of the martial stage became the roof, and the feeling of spatial displacement made people nauseous. Those who had fought Bezayol began to vomit. It was as if they had returned to that terrifying nightmare. The world was spinning around them. Now that the martial stage was fully activated and battles were fought one by one, the martial stage drew people in, making them feel as if they were inside as well. This was very beneficial to their comprehension. It was even said that in the final clash, people would be able to freely choose between the viewpoints of the final fighters, as if they were the ones fighting. However, due to being drawn in, Quite a few people felt so terrible that they had no choice but to close their eyes and stop watching. Space layered and inverted. Now, bolts of lightning streaked through the air, and giant wind blades whirled through space. As for Bezayol himself, he had vanished, leaving only those giant eyes. They were like the eyes of a god. Boom. A bolt of lightning struck the ground, blasting it apart. This made everyone jump in shock. This isn't an illusion. Just as they thought that this spatial chaos was nothing more than a kind of illusion, a physical attack appeared. After that, zither music began to ring out and ripples spread. This inverted chaotic world then began to settle. Wherever the music passed, a calm world followed. Big sister, be careful. I'm going to use one of my ultimate moves. Bezayol's voice rang out. Suddenly, space twisted and sharp swords rained down on Liao Yu Huang from every direction. How is that possible upon seeing those swords? Countless people were filled with disbelief. Chapter 3130 Fully Convinced These endless sharp swords rained down on Liao Yu Huang. Moreover, every sword possessed a different element. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, 
lightning, light, darkness, every kind of energy rained down. How can one person control so many kinds of energy? Everyone was shocked to see these endless swords. This simply wasn't possible. Furthermore, every sword possessed a powerful aura. They were no illusions. Baziol is this powerful? His pupil arts can control this many kinds of energy. Luo Bing and the others were also shocked. Even after knowing him for so long, they hadn't realized that he possessed such power. In theory, it's possible. Pupil arts stemmed from the desolate era's heavenly eye race, one of the most mysterious primitive races. It's said that the heavenly eye race isn't even human. They're a natural divine race. Their eyes are miniature versions of the heavenly deos, and they are capable of using all forms of power within the heavenly deos. Legend has it that one branch of the heavenly eye race ended up marrying the human race, resulting in the human race inheriting those pupil arts. The heavenly eye race was enraged when they learned of this and directly wiped out that branch. It is said that they even pursued the descendants of that bloodline, but for some reason, the heavenly eye race suddenly vanished. Records about them exist only in legend, and any documents related to them are extremely muddled. There's no way to tell what's true or false. Pupil arts were originally called heavenly eyes in the desolate era. The translations of the human race's records say that they are the eyes of the heavenly deos. When cultivated to the pinnacle, they can manifest the heavenly deos and rewrite the workings of the universe. They can control the cycle of life and death. The heavenly eye race is too mysterious, and it can't even be confirmed that they ever existed. But there is one thing that can be said. Their pupil arts are capable of controlling every kind of natural energy. For a normal person, using even just clashing powers like water and fire could instantly cause them to lose their life. But Ziaol possesses the power to use every element. Even I envy him, said Long Chen Novelun.com. Ziaol possesses this kind of unrivaled energy? Doesn't that mean that he can beat Liao Yu Huang? asked Mu Qingyan, feeling even more excited for Bei Ziaol. Foolish girl. How many times have I told you that there is no such thing as an unrivaled power? Within the endless Tao, there are always counters. No matter how great Ziaol's talent is, it's useless. His opponent is not such a weak figure. Furthermore, this fellow has no brain. Long Chen shook his head. Everyone was startled, not understanding why Long Chen would suddenly evaluate him as having no brain. Just as the countless swords pierced toward Liao Yu Huang. Liao Yu Huang shook her head and sighed slightly. She suddenly rested her zither on her knees and played it like a pipa. Five notes rang out. After that, those swords rotted and crumbled into nothingness. For a moment, everyone could only stare in dumbfounded silence. Just what had happened? How could such a terrifying attack just dissipate like smoke in the wind? Those five notes rang out clearly, and the spatial twisting vanished. The hidden Baziol also appeared. Staring in shock at her, Liao Yuhuang said, You have such an enviable divine ability, but you don't know how to use it. You can only unleash the most shallow power of the three flower pupils. Spatial displacement is only the entry to the three flower pupils, but even this technique isn't being used properly by you. Although space looks to be in chaos, time is not, giving it the appearance but not the killing power. Furthermore, when you used so many kinds of energy to attack me, it looked frightening on the surface, but all those energies were clashing with each other. Even an ordinary primal would only be scared when attacked. Power isn't something where the more there is, the better. To increase the quantity by reducing the purity is a great taboo of cultivation. You should choose the kind of energy that you like and specialize in it. That way, you will be able to go further hearing that made Long Chen nod his head. As expected, cultivators of the music Tao all had high mental realms. She instantly saw through Bei Ziaol. When it came to Bei Ziaol's power, Long Chen didn't want to give him too many pointers. Now still wasn't the time. He had just awakened the three flower pupils, and his mental realm was still adrift. Having him suffer a bit now wasn't a bad thing. The other experts in the stands all nodded inside. Liao Yuhuang possessed a noble air and she didn't give off any hint of arrogance or darkness. It was a feeling that made others like and respect her more. Many thanks for your pointers. Junior brother is fully convinced Bei Ziaol bowed deeply toward Liao Yu Huang. You should still have more moves. No? 
Are you admitting defeat already? Asked Liao Yuhuang curiously. Bei Xiaol shook his head. Using them would be meaningless. The difference is too great. Big sister, you've seen through all my moves. If we continue, I'm afraid my confidence will shatter. Although big sister is nice and helped me resolve my misunderstandings, I'm afraid that my current heart can't endure the impact. He, thank you. You're even nicer to me than my real sister. Bei Xiaol was then sent out. Long Chen was speechless. That final line of Bei Xiaol's was too much. Bei Shishi's expression was clearly dark. However, since her face was always icy, it wasn't that easy to sense. In truth, Bei Shishi did care about him. She just didn't want others to tell. Naturally, Long Chen had the wits to not expose her. After all, that was their family matter. Boss, I feel like I can properly cultivate now. I understand why you rejected me so many times before. Starting tomorrow, I'll properly cultivate with boss, said Bei Xiaol. No, you still haven't found your reason to get stronger, so anything I taught you would be meaningless. You still wouldn't be able to become a true expert. Just wait, your chance will come soon. Long Chen shook his head. Bei Xiaol was still not qualified to become an expert. Talent was only one part of it. Why? demanded Bei Xiaol. Why ask? Boss told you to wait. So wait. Just remember that boss always has a reason when he says something, said Qin Feng, pulling Bei Xiaol down and not letting him trouble Long Chen. Of the 32 matches, only 8 actually fought. The rest were all peacefully resolved. After today's competition ended, the next matches were decided immediately. Curiously, Long Chen, Bei Shishi, and young master Chang Chuan's opponents all directly admitted defeat right on the spot. Once the lots were decided, the top 16 were basically formed. Every match ended before it even began with someone admitting defeat. Even the Huaian Trading Company's people were dumbfounded by this. Such a thing had never occurred before. After a discussion, they decided to directly draw the lots for the top 8. When young master Chang Chuan saw the name of his opponent, his expression became tense. Ku Wuaya Chapter 3131 Long Chen vs. Liao Yuhuang Young Master Chang Chuan actually ended up matched against Ku Wuaya. Hence, everyone's heart clenched. Bei Shishi's opponent directly admitted defeat. But when they looked at Long Chen's tablet, they sucked in a cold gasp. The name on it was Liao Yuhuang. The unfathomable expert of the zither sect Bei Shishi and Ji Yuai Yun's opponents admitted defeat. So there were only six matches for the top eight. Do you have confidence? Bei Shishi spoke to young master Chang Chuan for the first time. Young master Chang Chuan's expression was grave. I'm probably not his match, but I'll do my best to force out his trump cards. Young master Chang Chuan was also a true expert. He had even fought against Ku Wuaya before. That battle had lasted thousands of exchanges before young master Chang Chuan lost to Ku Wuaya's curse. After Long Chen had pointed out the reason for his defeat, young master Chang Chuan had felt that he could win, but Ku Wuaya's power had soared. He was now capable of receiving the attack of a treasure item with his bare body. That was unbelievable. The only ones here were allies, so young master Chang Chuan could only say the truth. He couldn't beat Ku Wuaya. He could only unleash his full power and force out his trump cards. You should directly admit defeat, said Long Chen. Brother Long, young master Chang Chuan's expression changed. Long Chen waved his hand. I have no intention of looking down on you. If you know you can't beat him, don't fight him. Don't let all your sharpness deflate. In a fight between experts, the chances of winning by a surprise move are very low. In the end, you are competing with power. In a one against one, knowing someone's trump cards or not doesn't make much of a difference. Furthermore, your full moon ray specializes in power. No, his poisons and curses are your perfect counter. Even if you were equally matched, you would be at a disadvantage. Every defeat to an expert will impact their sharpness. If you lose the same person twice, then even if you are mentally prepared, you will unconsciously form an instinctive fear toward experts of that type. That's not beneficial to your future cultivation but I'm a bit unwilling to admit defeat just like this. Young Master Chang Chuan clenched his fists. He came from a mysterious life-forbidden area. If he admitted defeat here, 
it would be a loss of face. Long Chen smiled. Didn't you say that your people don't want you to go all out in this convention anyway? If you retreat now, you can just say that you're following their orders. But, what bot? Listen to me. Preserve your power for when it's needed, said Long Chen. All right, I'll listen to you. Ultimately, young master Chang Chuan chose to listen to Long Chen and admitted defeat Novaloon.com. This caused an uproar. No one had expected him to admit defeat. They were disappointed. With Bei Ziaol defeated and young master Chang Chuan admitting defeat, the High Firmament Academy's side only had Long Chen and Bei Shishi left. Once the lots were drawn, everyone returned to their residence. After one day, the battles restarted. The atmosphere was particularly tense now. Countless eyes were watching, and everyone was clutching a photographic jade, wanting to record every bit of the battles. Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others had long since arrived on the spectator stands. They all cheered when they saw Long Chen. All the High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered for Long Chen. However, their cheering wasn't as loud as yesterday. That was because his opponent was Liao Yu Huang. Liao Yu Huang had also won their respect and admiration. Now that the two of them were fighting, they didn't know who to cheer for. One of them would definitely be defeated. What they were most worried about was both of them being injured and unable to participate in the following matches. In the battle for the top eight, Bei Shishi, Ji Yu Yun, and Ku Wu Aya directly passed. There were only five matches remaining. Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang were in the third match. The first match was between experts that they didn't know. This was a battle for the top eight, and both of these two primals unleashed divine arts and Tao techniques. This was an exceptionally intense battle. Neither side held back. It wasn't for the rewards but for glory. There was a huge difference between entering the top hundred and entering the top eight. If a sect's disciple could get into the top eight, then that sect's reputation would soar. As for the disciple, they would probably be set to become the future sect master. For example, if the Chu family's four fighters could have entered the top eight, then their reputation would soar, and they would be qualified to fight for the position of the Chu family head. In this world, there were three things that moved people the most. Power, fame, and fortune. Any one of those things could drive a person crazy. After two hours, their high-tempo fighting gradually calmed down. Both of their auras were starting to drop. After one final exchange, both of them fainted. At this time, the Huaian Trading Company's people went on stage and evaluated their conditions. One of them was decided to have a bit more energy inside their body and lighter injuries. So they were declared the victor. However, that person's essence blood had been ignited to the end. So even in victory, there was no way that they could participate in the next match. The top eight was the limit. Whoever matched up against them would be getting a free match. The second fight started. This time, one of them was that fiery beautiful woman. Her opponent was also a very powerful primal who immediately summoned his manifestation and unleashed his full power. However, that beautiful woman only crossed her arms in front of her chest, her fingers dancing. After that, the earth exploded and vines shot out of the ground, covering the entire martial stage. Her opponent had only just charged out when he was bound. His protective layer of chi and manifestation were both blasted apart by the vines. She's a wood element expert. Even Long Chen was stunned. This was her first time unleashing an elemental attack. The divine light on those vines even shattered that person's manifestation. It was unknown what kind of power that was. I admit defeat. Once he was bound, that person hastily gave up. As a result, the beautiful woman's hand slowly loosened, and they were both sent out. She once more won with a single move. Long Chen was then sent onto the stage along with Liao Yu Huang. Both of them stared at each other through the barrier, and the crowd fell deathly silent. This was a match between experts. All of them watched closely. Chapter 3132 Musical Scale As Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang appeared on the stage, everyone fell silent. Both of them were considered contesters for first place. Now that they finally met each other in the clash for the top eight, no one could predict who would win. May I be so bold as to ask who came up with your name? Asked Long Chen. It's my mother, answered Liao Yu Huang. What a good name. 
It seems that your mother is not only skilled in the music Tao, her mental realm must have reached an enviable level as well, said Long Chen. No way. Boss is also going to suck up, exclaimed Bei Ziyol in disbelief. Bei Ziyol had put on a humble appearance for fear of provoking Liao Yu Huang. He had known that she wouldn't kill him, but she could definitely have given him a miserable beating. Now, Long Chen directly praised her name. This kind of bootlicking was a bit too direct. What a coward. He fears the strong. He might put on a good show against a weakling, but he tucks his tail in between his legs when he sees a really strong person. That's right. Now everyone is seeing his true face. You were all tricked by him. This fellow doesn't have any ability a fake hypocrite. Just like that Bay Ziyol. He becomes a coward as soon as he faces a real opponent. Trying to worm his way into being friends. Long Chen, you've lost the face of all men. Hurry up and scram. In just a moment, quite a few people began to shout loudly. Unlike at the start of the convention when the martial stages barrier blocked the outside world's influence, it was now possible to hear the people in the stands. But if someone in the top eight could be influenced by some random shouting from the outside, they didn't deserve to be in the top eight. Brother Long gives me too much praise but my mother can barely count as a big figure. She is in charge of the Zither Sect 17th branch sect I'm curious. How did you know? Liao Yuhuang cocked her head at Long Chen, interested in how he had guessed this. Those people cursing Long Chen instantly shut their mouths. The one in charge of the 17th sect? Then wasn't that a sect master? No one had expected Liao Yuhuang to actually be the daughter of the Zither Sect 17th branch's sect master. That meant that she was truly a terrifying existence. The Zither sect was one of the four immemorial sects, and their Tao could be traced back to ancient times. Even the baptism of time hadn't interrupted its inheritance. Its foundation was shockingly profound. The four immemorial sects' history stretched back even further than the Bloodkill Hall. Although they were very low-key, they remained famous. Hence, for Liao Yuhuang to be the daughter of a sect master, it was no wonder that she was so powerful. Those people that had lost to her hands were fully convinced. It's very simple. From your name comes the Yu and Huang characters. They are taken from the five notes and twelve point scale. The five notes are Gong, Shang, Zhu, Xi, and Yu. The twelve tone scale is split according to the Yun and Yang scales. The Yang scale has six tones. Huang's Hong, Teku, Guxi, Ruben, Yais, and Wang. The Yun scale also has six tones. Dalu, Jias Hong, Zhonglu, Lin Hong, Nanlu, Ying Hong. Your name comes from the end of the five notes. Yu, and the head of the twelve tone scale. The Huang from Huang Hong. The five notes as the foundation, with the twelve tone scale as a complement, are very compatible with the heaven and earth strings, thus implying using music to merge with heaven and earth, with the ten thousand daos. The zither has seven strings, other than the heaven and earth strings. Of the five, the yu note is the most mysterious and profound. Furthermore, the huang's hong tone is the head of the twelve tone scale, capable of peering beyond the heavens. A name like yu huang is one made to embody the music dao. It is the very embodiment of the principles of the heavenly daos. When you see fate before you, it is as if you see a dangerous path in front of you and the way that you came behind you. You must always choose where to go. I will make a wild guess that your mother gave you this name because she wished for you to understand that true learning and experience can only come from struggling through this world. Liao Yu Huang's eyes widened. She had never imagined that Long Chen had such an understanding. As for the spectators, they were lost in the clouds, not even knowing what he was talking about. But it sounded reasonable. Is boss really this amazing? He even knows these things exclaimed Bei Ziyol. Who do you think boss is? He knows everything within heaven and earth. If you wish to follow boss, you'll have to learn more, said Chin Feng with a smile. Just as everyone was staring in dumbfounded silence, Liao Yuhuang actually bowed to Long Chen. Junior sister admires brother Long's talent. I never expected you to have such accomplishments in music theory. I'd like to ask for some pointers from you. Long Chen returned her courtesy but shook his head. When it comes to music theory, I know merely the slightest bit. It can't count as any accomplishment. 
The only reason I know this little bit is because someone I know is a true expert in this regard. I have been influenced by her. And while I am unworthy of her music, even a foolish oaf like me can learn a bit over time. There's someone even more skilled than you? Then I'd like for you to introduce us. I would be endlessly grateful, said Liao Yu Huang. This lover of mine ascended at the same time as me from the lower plane, but we've lost connection since then, and I haven't found a trace of her in the immortal world. However, after ascending, I would guess that she would join your zither sect so I was actually thinking of requesting Fairy Yu Huang to ask around your sect to see if there is a newcomer named Zi Yan. Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. However, he knew just how low this possibility was. If Zi Yan had really gone to the zither sect, there was no way that she would be some nameless disciple. With her talent and comprehension, she would soar. As expected, Liao Yu Huang shook her head. My apologies. Our branch sect doesn't have such a person. As for other branch sects, I can't say. The branch sects are spread far and wide and rarely interact with each other. We might not come into contact for thousands of years. I can report to the sect master when I get back to help you investigate. But you shouldn't raise your hopes. Even amongst our connections, there are only four branch sects that we have regular contact with. We are unable to reach the other branch sects. Then I'll thank Fairy Yu Huang for the effort. Now, when it comes to us, Long Chen rubbed his fists awkwardly. The barrier between them had already vanished and Long Chen's meaning was clear. Now that they were done talking, it was time to get to business. Long Chen's goal was the golden dragon scale. It didn't matter if his opponent was friendly, as that dragon scale had to be his. Liao Yu Huang smiled. Brother Long is very capable. I can tell that you view first place as something you must obtain. Normally, I should retreat here, but I also feel unwilling to do so. How about I instead play a song for you? Long Chen smiled. He understood her meaning. Ultimately, Liao Yu Huang wanted to test him. Liao Yu Huang then pressed her hand against her zither. A single note rang out, one that caused every expert's expression to change. Chapter 3133 Liao Yu Huang admits defeat the sound of the zither was different. It was now capable of piercing the clouds and splitting rock. It used to be soft and gentle, but now it contained dense murderous intent. As the sound passed through the formation and entered their souls, their souls shuddered. Those with weaker spiritual strength felt a sharp pain, and they hastily circulated their full power to resist it. At this moment, shocked expressions appeared on their faces. How terrifying. She has yet to use even a fraction of her power in her previous fights. She always condensed swords with her zither strings to attack, but now her zither music directly attacks the soul. There's no way to defend against it. Before this, Liao Yu Huang had only used a single technique to beat her opponents. She only took out her real abilities when Long Chen appeared. We are protected by the barrier and at such a distance. So just how much stronger is this move on Long Chen who is on the martial stage? Seeing how unaffected Long Chen was, they were unable to imagine just how he managed to survive. Long Chen stood there with his arms clasped behind him. He was like a respectful audience member, calmly listening to Liao Yu Huang perform. I'll embarrass myself. Seeing that he wasn't moved, Liao Yu Huang suddenly switched to playing her zither with both hands. His fingers rapidly moved across her strings. Zither music began to ring out in earnest, and it was possible to see ripples spread from her fingertips. The entire formation shuddered because of this music. Teacups shattered amongst the spectator stands. At the same time, people felt their souls quivering. It was as if their souls were being pulled out. Are you all right? Startled cries rang out. They saw their comrades had blood gushing out of their eyes, noses, and ears. Seemingly without even noticing, the spectator stands were quickly thrown into chaos. Just at this moment, an extra barrier appeared on top of the martial stage. Once it appeared, the pain in their souls instantly dropped. They then stared in horror at Liao Yu Huang. They had never expected that zither music could cause such a terrifying effect. If it wasn't for the formation, then other than a few select peak experts here, who could resist it? Too terrifying. I've long since heard that the zither sect is the head of the four immemorial sects, and that they all have ancient inheritances. 
but it's rare to see the Zither sect's disciples roaming the world. Today, I'm finally bearing witness to their power. People sighed in amazement. Coming to watch this Marshall Dao convention had definitely been the right decision. Liao Yu Huang is terrifying, but Long Chen is also a monster. His expression doesn't even twitch in the face of this attack. Space twisted on top of the martial stage, and ripples could be seen flying. As for Long Chen, he was standing merely 30 meters in front of Liao Yu Huang. Her music was clearly entering his ears. Suddenly, Liao Yu Huang's expression changed and the tempo increased. Sounding hurried, cracks covered the martial stage. The surface of the martial stage crumbled and sank, seemingly about to fall into a bottomless abyss. However, even as everything around Long Chen collapsed, a pillar of earth remained beneath Long Chen. It was like a single stalagmite. What is that? Is it an illusion? The bottomless abyss that had suddenly appeared on the martial stage was shocking. It was like the gaping maw of a giant beast. It doesn't seem to be. If it was an illusion, Long Chen wouldn't stand on the only stable place. He definitely used some technique to block Liao Yu Huang's attack and protect the land beneath him. Just as everyone was guessing, the martial stage slowly restored itself. This confirmed that it was no illusion. It was real. However, up until now, they had never seen such damage occur to the martial stage. Although I always felt that this Liao Yu Huang was a very powerful existence, I didn't expect her to be even more terrifying than I imagined Bei Ziaol stuck out his tongue. His intuition had told him that he couldn't beat Liao Yu Huang, but he had still underestimated her power. Just then, the urgent zither music came to a sudden stop, and a single heavy note rang out. In that instant, everyone watching felt like their hearts were being crushed. Everyone was shocked. They saw Liao Yu Huang holding her zither in one hand while the other pulled on a single string. This was no longer playing music. She had concentrated all her mysterious power into a single string. Liao Yu Huang then plucked the second string. As a result, everyone felt like their heads would split open. Feeling horrified, they didn't know if they should continue watching or flee. This was completely different from ordinary attacks. It was passing through the formation and injuring them. Just as Liao Yu Huang reached for the third string, Long Chen raised his head and roared. That roar seemed to contain a dragon cry, and it pierced through the formation and blasted apart the clouds in the sky. It was like a celestial roar, like a devil king's howl. A sound wave then unfurled throughout the martial stage. The zither music and the roar clashed, resulting in the martial stage shuddering intensely. Both Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang were then sent flying. After that, the two of them stabilized in the air. As for the martial stage beneath their feet, it was shattered and slowly recovered. From the start, its healing was unable to keep up with the destruction. Liao Yu Huang is injured. A startled cry rang out. They saw blood dripping from one of her hands that was hanging limply. My apologies. Your mental energy is too strong. That was already my limit. I had no choice but to counterattack, said Long Chen. Liao Yu Huang shook her head. My skills have yet to reach perfection, and there are still many holes between my notes. I really am ashamed. For Brother Long to only defend is already a great concession. I'm embarrassed to have taken out such an immature five-note merger art. Thank you for having mercy. This battle has benefited me immensely. If I have a chance, I will definitely repay the favor. Liao Yu Huang cupped her fists to Long Chen and left with her zither. She admitted defeat. Long Chen then returned to the spectator stands. When he arrived, Luo Bing and the others immediately congratulated him. Just now, they really had been worried. No one had expected Liao Yu Huang to be so terrifying. Actually, she was the one who had mercy. We only had a mental clash. If we had fought all out, no one knows who would have won. Long Chen looked at the distant Liao Yu Huang and sighed. She was truly terrifying. Since that was the case, it would truly be the best decision for Zi Yan to go to the Zither sect. Mental energy? How could mental energy be so terrifying? demanded Lu Mingxuan. Mental energy was the most difficult thing to cultivate. It was far too mysterious and difficult to gain. That terrifying battle had only been the result of a mental energy clash? That exceeded the scope of most people's understanding. The lots for the top four are being drawn exclaimed Luo Bing suddenly. Hence, 
everyone instantly tensed. The next battles would be even more intense. Beishishi's tablet lit up. When they saw her opponent, everyone's expression grew heavy. Ku Wuaya Chapter 3134 Dai Wu Beishishi finally encountered Ku Wuaya. Everyone knew that they would encounter each other sooner or later. But now that it happened, their hearts shook. Long Chen looked at his own tablet and sighed. It wasn't Ji Yui Yun. He just saw the name before it grew dim. Clearly, his opponent had directly admitted defeat after seeing that it was him. The names of the fighters appeared in the air for everyone to see. Long Chen saw Bei Shishi against Ku Wuaya, and Ji Yui Yun's opponent was Dai Wu. That Dai Wu was that mysterious woman of unknown origins. The other pair was none of their business. No one cared about them. Although they were both powerful, there was no way for them to compare to Ku Wuaya, Ji Yui Yun, and the others. They had managed to reach this point, not thanks to power but luck. When the two of them saw that they were fighting, they directly had a secret discussion. One of them admitted defeat, giving the top four position to the other, but his opponent had to have given quite a bit in payment. However, even if that person managed to get into the top four, his journey would stop there. He didn't even have the courage to fight the next match. What he wanted was nothing more than ranking. Two of the four fights had resulted in people admitting defeat before the fight even started. Now all that remained were Bei Shishi's fight against Ku Wuaya and Ji Yui Yun's fight against Dai Wu. Bei Shishi's expression was calm, not revealing the slightest nervousness. However, the others were fraught with nerves. After all, Ku Wuaya was a monster. When everyone returned to their residences to rest, Bei Shishi's mother called her daughter to her room. It was unknown what they were doing, but Bei Shishi didn't come back out until the next day. On the next day, when they returned, there was no cheering, only a monumental pressure hanging in the air. It was difficult to breathe. Everyone was staring nervously at Bei Shishi and Dai Wu. These two peerless beauties were about to fight two terrifying monsters. The High Firmament Academy's disciples clenched their fists, not even daring to say a thing. They all wished for Bei Shishi to win, but they were afraid that saying anything would affect her. Everyone had arrived, but there was still some time until the fight started. Hence, everyone was staring at Ku Wuaya, Ji Yui Yun, Bei Shishi, and Dai Wu. Ku Wuaya was very large. Sitting there, he was like a small mountain. His eyes were closed but the aura that he emitted terrified others. As for Ji Yui Yun, he had put on a black cloak that covered most of his face. That was the garb of the blood kill hall he had actually chosen to switch his clothes for today's battle. Bei Shishi sat there lotus style like a statue of a goddess. She hadn't said a word today. Suddenly, startled cries rang out. Dai Wu actually chose to stand and walk over from her corner. The shocking thing was that she was heading toward Long Chen. Under countless flabbergasted stares, Dai Wu walked over to Long Chen. Even Long Chen was surprised. Miss Dai Wu, do you need something? Even Bei Shishi opened her eyes and looked over. Luo Bing and the others were all staring, not knowing what Dai Wu wanted. After all, from the start, Dai Wu had never said anything to them. They had had no interactions. Why would she suddenly come over? Dai Wu looked at Long Chen closely. She then slowly went on one knee took Long Chen's hand, and kissed the back of it. Warrior blessed by the butterfly spirit race, if I die, I beg you to help me achieve my heart's desire and slay that evildoer. You, Long Chen was shocked. This woman actually knew that he had the mark of the butterfly spirit race on the back of his hand. Bei Shishi and the others were even more shocked. They covered their mouths, unable to believe what they were seeing. Such a powerful woman was on her knee in front of Long Chen? What was going on? The rest of the crowd was shocked as well, but they also felt profound envy for him. This indescribably beautiful woman had actually acted so intimate with Long Chen. Just at this moment, the martial stage was activated. Dai Wu looked at Long Chen profoundly and vanished, reappearing on the martial stage. As for Long Chen's hand, her fragrance remained on it. Before Long Chen even understood what was going on, Dai Wu and Ji Yui Yun were on the martial stage. Ji Yui Yun indifferently said, You came for revenge. Dai Wu coldly said, In order to obtain the blessing of the heavenly Deos, you used the cruelest method to extract the soul of the butterfly spirit race. 
making her experience unimaginable pain before her death. The butterfly spirit race is innately kind. They never hold grudges against anyone. But as her companion flower spirit, I'm not so kind. I want revenge. I will use your life as an offering to her heroic spirit. Hearing this, an uproar exploded. The spirit butterfly race was known as the kindest of all races, and they never fought with others. Even when others killed their members, they never held a grudge and went for revenge. The spirit butterfly race never provoked anyone and only helped others. Moreover, if others helped them, they would remember it for a lifetime. They were very rarely seen, but if someone did encounter them, he or she wouldn't harm them. They were simply too kind for the people to bear harming them intentionally. Ji Yui Yun had killed one, and as cruelly as possible, that instantly angered countless people. The path of cultivation is one where the strong are respected, while the weak are prey. As someone strong, I will naturally trample over others as my stepping stones. If I reach the undying realm, I will naturally be blessed by the heavens. Her death will also count as having a use. How was I wrong? Ji Yui Yun curled his lips disdainfully. Shut up. To reach that realm, you think you can freely trample over other people's lives? Do you know the true essence of life? As Dai Wu spread her hands, the martial stage transformed. Birdsong filled the air, and grass covered the ground. Small creeks and rivers cut through the plains that were filled with a strong scent of flowers. At this moment, one beautiful butterfly after another appeared flitting across the flowers. There was one particular young butterfly playing around a pretty flower. The flower suddenly grew, revealing a girl inside of it. Following that, the butterfly also transformed into the appearance of a girl. The two girls held hands and laughed, running around the grass. Their innocent laughter was enough to make people forget the ruckus of the world. They immersed themselves in this world. The scene progressed. The two girls grew, and an identical rune appeared on their foreheads. The girl that had transformed from a flower was Daiwu. In that instant, Everyone understood. After that, the scene changed once more. A woman with butterfly wings was bound to a sacrificial altar, screaming in pain. Chains pierced through her body. At the end of those chains was a pudgy hand. When he saw that sight, killing intent sword in Long Chen's eyes, and it wasn't just him. Everyone was infuriated. Brood. Chapter 3135 The evil Gui Yun The hand holding the chains belonged to Gui Yun. Spiritual runes flowed down the chain, absorbed into his hand. The spirit butterfly woman screamed in pain. However, Ji Yui Yun remained expressionless, completely ignoring her pain of having her soul torn out. It was not long before her screams grew weaker, until they were gone. As her soul was extinguished, her physical body began to corrode until it turned into dust. A light breeze then made it vanish into heaven and earth. My butterfly dance race is another spiritual race along with the butterfly spirit race. I had a lifelong contract with her. After she died, my longevity also almost came to an end. The butterfly spirit race might be too kind to hold grudges, but my butterfly dance race is different. I will avenge her. Dai Wu's gaze contained pain, hatred, and endless killing intent. Haha, <laughs> I've killed plenty of people from the butterfly spirit race. There are also plenty of people who have come for revenge. But weaklings are weaklings. They can only resign themselves to their fate. Do you not understand? This is simply your fate. Ji Yui Yun laughed as if he had heard something incredibly funny. Just then, the barrier between them vanished and Dai Wu waved her hand. After that, the earth split open, and wooden thorns shot out. At the same time, ripples appeared in the air and space crumbled. Fragments of spastime danced through the air. The majestic energy even extended out of the formation to give the spectators a suffocating feeling. It felt as if their bodies would be torn apart. The wooden thorns then struck the martial stage's barrier, causing it to shudder. Ripples appeared in it. There were vague signs of it breaking, shocking everyone. What kind of power is this? Wooden thorns and giant vines twisted through the entire martial stage. It became a world of wood. Through the formation, they could see Dai Wu had appeared in the air. She actually began to dance. Her movement seemed to be the epitome of the heavenly deos. It was as if a single move from her, a single gaze, could draw forth the power of the heavenly deos. I understand. 
She is using the body as the Tao. Her dancing takes the place of her hand seals, exclaimed Luo Shue. This was her first time hearing of such a magical race. Dai Wu was like a majestic elf dancing in the air. As she danced, wooden stakes and twisting vines roared through the air, twisting together into a giant wooden dragon. The martial stage had long since vanished beneath this wooden world. As for Ji Yui Yan, he was covered by it as well. When cracks appeared on the martial stage's barrier, a second barrier appeared again. Only then was Dai Wu's power contained. This sight left people trembling. They could sense just how terrifying that wooden dragon was. Even space was compressed to the point that it was about to collapse. So a normal physical body would be crushed to smithereens. Even primals couldn't get close. This was what they called absolute power. Where is Ji Yui Yan? Was he killed? The wooden dragon had covered the entire martial stage. They couldn't see Ji Yui Yan's figure. Suddenly, a blinding ray of light appeared on the martial stage, and that wooden dragon was blasted to bits. What Ji Yui Yan's figure appeared, his body surrounded by divine flames that burned as intensely as the sun. He was like a god. The wooden stakes couldn't even approach him. Like a moth flying into the fire, you chose to kill yourself. Within those flames came Ji Yui Yun's disdainful voice. People stared in disbelief. How was such a powerful wood magical art broken so easily by him? It seems that I underestimated your wickedness. You've killed far too many members of the butterfly spirit race. You've managed to fully merge with the butterfly spirit race's blessing. They are the companion race to my butterfly dance race. And you've used their blessing to break my butterfly dance race's secret art. No matter how great my power is, I can't do anything to you. Dai Wu looked at Ji Yui Yan, her eyes full of hatred yet also profound helplessness. This secret art could only be countered by the butterfly spirit race. She had been hoping to use this secret art to suppress him, but unexpectedly, he had absorbed far too much of the butterfly spirit race's souls and blood. Not only that, but he must have also killed many experts of the butterfly dance race. He was very clear on their secret arts. Otherwise, there was no way he could break out so easily. That's why I said that you're a moth flying into the fire. If you hadn't come here, you would have had at least a few months left. But you just had to send yourself to your death. Since that's the case, I won't stand on courtesy. I will be taking your wood spirit energy. Ji Yui Yun suddenly began to walk through the air toward Dai Wu. As he walked. Anything that was in his way disintegrated. I see. You've not only absorbed the essence of the butterfly spirit race but also my butterfly dance race. As an assassin, you specialize in concealing yourself. Meanwhile, we, the butterfly dance race, possess the divine ability to merge into heaven and earth. You wish to gain this ability to make your concealing arts flawless a spark of understanding appeared in Dai Wu's eyes. So what even if you understand now? In my eyes, weaklings like yourselves aren't qualified to complain or resist. You exist in this world to be used by the strong. That is your fate. Don't blame me. You can only blame yourselves for being too weak. Ji Yui Yun suddenly vanished. The space behind Dai Wu split open, and a hand reached out for Dai Wu's head. However, a flower mark then appeared on Dai Wu's hand. Space twisted, and she slammed her hand into that hand. As a result, a powerful explosion caused the space inside the stage to collapse. The spectators jumped in shock. A single palm could make space explode? Just what kind of power did it contain? Watch out. Long Chen suddenly shouted a warning. But it was too late. Dai Wu's palm struck nothing but air. That hand was not Ji Yui Yun's true body. Just at that moment, a sinister dagger stabbed through the back of her heart. Ji Yui Yun's fat and wicked face appeared out of thin air. Inferior life form. Now do you believe in your fate? Chapter 3136 Long Chen's rage everyone's breathing stopped. Dai Wu's palm caused space to collapse. But Ji Yui Yun's dagger had stabbed through her heart. Even through the formation. The sinister air of that dagger made people's soul shudder. It was like a devil had cursed it. Giving it a sinister. Dark. And bloodthirsty chi. Black runes instantly covered Dai Wu's body. It was like a net binding prey, and her body began to petrify. Ji Yui Yun, release her and I will use her life to trade for yours, announced Long Chen. 
Whether it was the butterfly spirit race or the butterfly dance race, they were both innately kind races. Long Chen was unwilling to watch them just die. Although he also knew that Dai Wu wouldn't be able to live long due to the loss of her contractual partner, he was unwilling to watch this. That should not be her fate. Perhaps he might even have a medicinal pill that could save her life. Ji Yui Yun was startled. He quickly understood his meaning and laughed. Long Chen looked at her with a powerful light in his eyes. There's nothing to laugh about. I never joke with my enemies. The very first time I saw you, I was ready to kill you. If you release her, then when we fight, I can spare your life. If you kill her, I, Long Chen, swear to hunt you down whether you flee to heaven or hell. Even if Imputa supports you, it won't change your fate of being killed by me. Long Chen's words reverberated through the air and through people's hearts. Long Chen was actually planning on killing Ji Yui Yan? Where did that confidence come from? Ha ha ha, are you threatening me? How laughable. Ji Yui Yan laughed until the fat on his face bounced. I've never threatened anyone. I'm only stating facts, said Long Chen. Seeing Dai Wu captured, an indescribable sorrow appeared in his heart. Did this world really have such a thing as kindness being repaid by kindness? Then why would such a kind race end up in such a miserable plight? In the lower plane, he encountered the spirit race and the Luo spirit race. They were all kind races. But what did their kindness receive in return? They only received grief and pain. The mortal world was like that. And the immortal world was the same. Lord Brahma's hands had spread throughout the immortal world. His dogs were all over the nine lands and ten lands. Imputa was nothing more than one of his dogs. But he had established the blood kill hall that terrified people. Lord Brahma was Long Chen's fated enemy. The losses of the five sovereigns. Of Ling Yunzi. Of the old man. Of Ku Jinying. Of Hu Fang. Of everyone in that battle. It all could be traced back to Lord Brahma. Even if Long Chen wasn't a nine star heir. He would not let off Lord Brahma. For Ji Yui Yun to appear before him, he definitely wouldn't let him leave alive. However, at this moment, Long Chen was willing to let him go for Dai Wu. This was no threat. But other than himself, everyone else thought that he was crazy. Just as everyone was staring at him in shock and contempt, Dai Wu smiled gently. Long Chen, you're a good person, a true warrior. My butterfly dance race will always remember your favor. However, I don't have long left. Letting off this fiend isn't worth it. Dai Wu's words were suddenly cut off by a scream. Ji Yui Yun's dagger had started to suck away her soul essence and spirit blood. Stop, you brood. Stop at once. Countless cries rang out from the spectator stands. Boom. A black figure suddenly charged at the martial stage. As a result, divine light flowed on top of the martial stage's barrier, and a runic sword shot out. This idiot. Bei Shishi and the others were stunned. Long Chen had actually charged toward the stage. It had to be known that the martial stage's formation prevented such interference. Even the flower butterfly patriarch, a divine lord expert, was seriously injured by it. Why did Long Chen suddenly turn into an idiot at such a time? This action was practically sending himself to his death. The runic sword whistled toward Long Chen. At this moment, Runes flowed on top of Long Chen's hand, and a cluster of flames appeared on his fingers. Every cluster contained different runes. Bang! Long Chen's palm then slammed into the runic sword, and it was actually sent flying into the air. In an instant, everyone was stunned. That runic sword was sent flying by Long Chen? The barrier once more shuddered. Multiple runic swords now whistled toward Long Chen. Brave warrior, thank you for your kindness. Right now. All I can do is this. Novaloon.com A flower rune suddenly appeared on Dai Wu's hand, and she slammed it behind her. It happened so suddenly that even Ji Yui Yun didn't expect her to be capable of such a thing. Boom. Dai Wu's hand slammed into Ji Yui Yun's body. He coughed up blood, and his chest was almost pierced. A flower mark was branded into his chest. Dai Wu smiled. You never expected this, right? I know that I can't beat you. So that palm of mine was missed intentionally. A portion of my power was sealed into my other hand. And my spiritual seal is now branded on your body. With Long Chen's blessing of the butterfly spirit race. Even if your concealing arts are really perfect. You won't be able to escape his senses. 
This is all I can do. I believe that a warrior like him can kill you once you can't hide from him. Then I've also accomplished my mission. I can join. My companion the remaining light in her eyes vanished. Just like that. She fell from the air. Her final palm had exhausted all her remaining longevity. But a sweet smile still remained on her face. Ji Yui Yun was shocked and enraged. He circulated his energy. But he was unable to remove the mark on his chest. That mark was bizarre. It sank into his bloodline, his bones, and even his soul. Slot. Die. Ji Yui Yun furiously unleashed a fist, blasting apart Dai Wu's body. However, no blood appeared. She transformed into flower petals that danced through the air. The butterfly dance race was not human. It could be considered a branch of the flower demons. So those flower petals were her body. They fell. The final ending of a beautiful life. Ji Yui Yun Long Chen's voice seemed to come from the depths of hell. Somehow, he had avoided all those runic swords and was now standing in front of the martial stage's barrier. But it was too late. Chapter 3137 Beishishi vs. Ku Wu Aya Dai Wu died. A kind woman met her and due to revenge. But she left with a smile. The impression she left behind left everyone in sorrow. It made people feel that this world was unfair. The butterfly spirit and the butterfly dance races were companions. Watching as those petals fell, people felt like they could see a beautiful butterfly flitting through the petals. The flowers and butterflies were beautiful. They transformed into two girls holding hands and laughing as they ran through the grass. They could almost hear their innocent laughter. They loved this world and loved peaceful lives. They were kind and pure. But their world had been shattered. At this moment, the flower petals faded into heaven and earth. Countless people's eyes were wet without them even realizing it. Just how many people wished to live a life like that? Just how many people wished to escape the struggles of the cultivation world and live a peaceful life somewhere far away? A life where you didn't need to worry about whether you would live to see the next day. However, today, they personally witnessed that world they dreamed of broken. Hence. Countless people clenched their fists furiously, gazing at Ji Yui Yun with hatred. Long Chen stood in front of the barrier. Everyone saw him clenching his fists so hard that veins throbbed in them. His body was still quivering. It seemed that his fury had reached some kind of limit. Long Chen, at this moment, Bei Shishi, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, and the others ran over to pull Long Chen back and calm him down. If he attacked the barrier, it would no longer just passively defend. It would truly attempt to wipe him out. Helpless anger is so pathetic. Don't rush. I'll send you to accompany them soon since you like them so much. Said Ji Yui Yun contemptuously. He was sent off the stage. On the spectator stands. He made a throat cutting gesture toward Long Chen. Long Chen. Don't be impetuous. You'll get to fight him soon. You're also worrying fairy shishi. How can she fight Ku Wuaya in this state? Said Luo Xue, noticing that Long Chen's blood chi was circulating even faster. It seemed that he was about to charge at Ji Yui Yun. Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen without saying a word. Long Chen was clenching his teeth. But after looking at Bei Shishi, he suppressed his anger. Luo Xue was correct. Bei Shishi was about to start fighting, ignoring whether or not Ji Yui Yun would even welcome his fight outside the ring. Even if he did, the hosts would not allow it. This would only affect Bei Shishi, while Ku Wuaya remained unaffected. Thinking of this, he suppressed his anger and they returned to their seats. Bei Shishi and the others relaxed slightly, but Long Chen still didn't say a word. His face was shockingly dark. Compared to his normal teasing self, he seemed like a different person. He almost felt like a stranger. They couldn't imagine how someone as smart as Long Chen would do something as stupid as charging at the martial stage. That was purely courting death. Even a madman wouldn't do such a thing. Bei Shishi's tablet began to flash, indicating that she was about to go on stage. Long Chen suddenly grabbed her arm. Ku Wuaya's power counters yours. Victory or defeat will be decided in the first ten moves. Bei Shishi nodded. Long Chen's thinking was the same as hers. Her metal energy made her specialize in wide area attacks. However, against a power type fighter, if they were on the same level, he could pierce through the openings in her attacks to counterattack. A terrifying expert like Ku Wuaya had plenty of combat experience. 
so he had probably figured this out. If he got used to her attack style, then as time dragged on, Beishishi's chances of victory would fall. The two of them then appeared on the martial stage. Beishishi was like a goddess. The entire martial stage was veiled in a mysterious aura because of her existence. Another woman. But don't worry, I'm not like that fellow. I'll take care of you properly. Ku Wuaya smiled at Beishishi. A touch of avarice appeared in his eyes. No one could remain unmoved in the face of such peerless beauty. What a low-level provocation. If you think you can anger me like this, you're wrong. I'm not like that brainless oaf, said Beishishi coldly. Naturally, that brainless oaf was Long Chen. She was also curious why Long Chen's character seemed to have gone through such an immense change after the Martial Dao Convention started. In the Jilin Immortal Land, he had been like a brilliant general, collected and cool. Their enemies were toyed with in the palm of his hand. But lately, he had been growing more and more foolish, and easier to anger. How spicy. I like it. Ku Wuaya's face darkened slightly. That smile of his was like that of a hunter staring at his prey. At this moment, black spots appeared on his body. It was like he was becoming a corpse. Those spots then grew larger until they became viper-like patterns covering his body. Black chi came from him, and people seemed to smell the scent of death from that black chi. Ku Wuaya was no longer as arrogant as before against Beishishi. As his aura circulated, an invisible pressure slowly grew. When the black chi around him suffused the air, the bricks beneath his feet began to corrode. Seeing this, Beishishi formed hand seals, and a golden mark appeared beneath her feet. Her divine might made her appear even more beautiful and untouchable. That golden mark beneath her feet had caused all of her competitors to retreat. Up until now, she had never been forced to actually use its power. All her opponents had simply admitted defeat as soon as they saw it. Now that it reappeared, countless people were filled with anticipation. They wanted to know just what this mark meant. It seemed that this riddle was about to be revealed. That black chi is Ku Wuaya's corpse chi. It is not only poison, but it also contains corpse energy. It can corrode heavenly Tao energy and invade the soul. Even as a member of the full moon race that is said to be invulnerable to poison, I couldn't block it. This Ku Wuaya is very difficult to deal with, said young master Chang Chuan. Of everyone here, the only one that had truly fought against Ku Wuaya was young master Chang Chuan. He was the only one who knew how terrifying this beast was. Boom. When the barrier separating them vanished, black and golden light instantly clashed. The moment that their two energies mixed, the martial stage was thrown into chaos. Die. Ku Wuaya suddenly charged at Beishishi like a bolt of lightning. He charged right into her domain with a black wolf tooth club. As a result, the ground beneath Beishishi suddenly collapsed. A golden lotus burst out of it. It rapidly grew, smashing into Ku Wuaya. A giant explosion then shook the martial stage. Chapter 3138 Golden Lotus Manifestation That's it. That made me feel so much pressure it felt like my soul was being stabbed. I had no choice but to concede when that golden lotus appeared. A primal shouted. He had faced Beishishi. But when this golden lotus mark appeared, a sensation of death enveloped him. If he had continued fighting, it felt like his death would be doubtless. Several other primals had the same experience. They all trusted in their gut feeling. Now that the golden lotus truly appeared, that feeling was instantly confirmed. If they really had continued fighting back then, they wouldn't be alive now. The giant lotus unleashed explosive metal energy like a volcano erupting. Hence, the martial stage rocked like a boat on a furious sea, and even the very island that the martial stage was on quivered. Beishishi had started off with a wild attack. Ku Wuaya's wolf tooth club smashed into the golden lotus, only for him to be sent flying back like a meteor. He bounced off the ground several times, every time leaving a large hole in the ground before he smashed into the barrier at the edge of the martial stage. The barrier shuddered, and cracks spread where Ku Wuaya smashed into it. This power, this sight shocked people. Just how great of an impact did Ku Wuaya receive to be blown back so far and still smash cracks into the barrier? It seemed that if it was a bit stronger, he would have pierced straight through the barrier. Ha ha ha, this will be fun. Ku Wuaya fell from the barrier, but he seemed completely fine as he shook out some muscles. 
It seemed that even such an impact was unable to cause him any injuries. The barrier behind him quickly healed itself. The cracks faded. It was as if nothing had happened. With his wolf tooth club in hand, Ku Wuaya walked back toward Beishishi. He sneered. In the current era, no one can compete with me in terms of physical body. The corpse devil Deo's inheritance will shine in my hands. Submit to me and be my dual cultivation partner. Otherwise, when I rule this world, I will destroy your high firmament academy. Ku Wuaya's voice resounded throughout heaven and earth with unlimited arrogance. With every step he took, the void shuddered, and the pressure increased. On the seventh step, Black Chi condensed behind him into a black figure. That figure raised its head and roared. With a single roar, the entire barrier instantly became covered in cracks. The spectators covered their ears and screamed. It's the sound of the heavenly howlers, exclaimed an expert of the senior generation. The heavenly howlers could be considered an ancient species. Their bodies were like apes, and they had long arms and short legs. It was said that they could crush stars with a single hand and shatter the heavens with a single howl. No one had expected Ku Wuaya's manifestation to be such an ancient beast. It was a terrifying beast famed for its power. Just its roar was enough to terrify everyone. Ku Wuaya was no human. He was a monster. However, Beishishi remained indifferent. Even after summoning her golden lotus and blasting Ku Wuaya away, she didn't pursue him. She only formed hand seals. Her hand seals were quick. In the blink of an eye, she finished hundreds of seals, and it was impossible to even see her fingers as they flew. Struggling is useless. In front of my absolute power, you can't do anything, sneered Ku Wuaya, swinging his wolf tooth club. With a single swing, a giant tear in space appeared. It didn't heal for a long time. His power has reached the level of affecting laws. Divine Lord experts exclaimed their shock. It had to be known that only at the Divine Lord realm could they barely manage to interact with the profundities of laws. However, Ku Wuaya was only at the Divine Flame realm. Above the Divine Flame realm was still the Four Peak realm. Only when Four Peaks were merged into one did one reach true divinity, becoming a Divine Lord. There were two major realms apart. One was on the earth, and the other was in the heavens. So how could Ku Wuaya possess this kind of power? The Divine Flame Disciples and the Four Peak Experts might not know what he was doing, but the Divine Lord Experts were stunned. No wonder they heard that he had slain Divine Lords before. They had thought that it was just some exaggerated rumors, but seeing this today, they no longer doubted it. Ku Wuaya truly was shocking. It seemed that he did possess the power to slay Divine Lords. It was also rumored that Ji Yui Yun had slain divine lords as well, and not just one. However, that was understandable to these divine lords because Ji Yui Yun was an assassin. An assassin specialized in killing targets that were even stronger than them. However, Ku Wuaya was no assassin. If he wanted to kill a divine lord, he would need to rely on true power. There was a difference between the two. As Ku Wuaya continued to walk toward Beishishi, an ear-piercing sound rang out from his wolf tooth club that shook people's hearts. Suddenly, Beishishi's hand seals came to a stop, and golden light burst into existence behind her. A giant ring of golden light appeared with sparks of light within it. As more of them appeared, people realized that they formed a miniature person. This person slowly grew larger until it appeared to be a long-haired woman. She was slender and elegant, like a goddess that had come from ancient times yet also like a fairy that had descended from the heavens. When they saw her, it felt like time came to a stop. She continued to grow larger and eventually walked out of the ring of light. At this moment, Beishishi's body suddenly became illusory. The figure merged with her, and then the two of them walked onto the golden lotus. After that, the golden lotus shrank. Some kind of mysterious power caused space to collapse. When the golden lotus was only about three feet long, Beishishi was once more Beishishi, but she was now one with that golden figure. She appeared the same, but her black hair had turned golden. Her eyes also had golden marks revolving within them. She had become a golden war goddess. Activating my bloodline power for the first time actually took so much time, but it's done. Beishishi looked at her own hand. Upon seeing the golden lines flowing on top of it, a slight smile appeared on her face. After that, 
the sound of her sword coming out of its sheath rang out clearly. She shot out, a streak of golden light flashing through the air. Ku Wuaya suddenly roared and swung his club. However, he missed. The next moment, golden light flashed, and an arm flew into the air along with a spray of fresh blood that was black as ink. Chapter 3139 Shocking Change People only saw a flash of golden light. They didn't even see what Beishishi did. But with a flash of golden light, Ku Wuaya's arm separated from the rest of his body. She, she's too fast. It was only once the golden light stopped that they saw Beishishi once more standing on her golden lotus. She slowly turned, her sword still stained with specks of Ku Wuaya's black blood. With golden light shining around her, Beishishi appeared to be peerlessly noble and sacred. She even possessed a strange Dao charm that seemed to separate her from the rest of the world, as if she didn't belong. Suddenly, Beishishi moved again. Her golden lotus quivered and she appeared in front of Ku Wuaya. When her sword fell, streaks of golden light condensed, as if a river of stars was slashing down. Boom! Ku Wuaya shouted, and with a single arm, he blocked with his club. This time, he had grasped Beishishi's movements. However, Ku Wuaya was sent flying. A streak of golden sword chi shot out, piercing through the barrier. Watch out! Seeing the sword chi pierce through the barrier. Startled cries rang out, especially from the people in its path. They didn't even have time to get out of the way. Boom. Suddenly, another runic barrier appeared in front of the spectator stands, blocking the golden sword chi. Only then could those people wipe off their cold sweat. So there was actually another barrier protecting the spectators. 10,000 sword seal space. Suddenly, Beishishi let out a shout and golden light condensed into sharp swords that rained down on Ku Wuaya. They covered the entire martial stage, and there was no way for him to dodge them all. Their sharpness caused a screeching sound as they passed through the air. Metal energy was particularly sharp. It was said to be able to pierce all defenses. Beishishi's current metal energy truly did appear unstoppable. However, Ku Wuaya raised his head and laughed. His severed arm had at some unknown point regrown itself. It's useless. My physical body isn't something that you can imagine. Sharp metal energy is useless. Ku Wuaya wasn't even done speaking before countless swords pierced through his body. His black blood splashed everywhere, leaving him riddled with holes. However, shockingly, his body would quickly heal. In less than half a breath's time, his physical body would appear the exact same as before. How can this be? Does he possess an undying body? Everyone was stunned. Terror appeared in Lu Mingxuan's eyes. His recovery ability is just that terrifying. But it's much stronger than when I encountered him, said young master Chang Chuan. There is no such thing as a true undying body in this world. Ku Wuaya simply has strong self-recovery. On the other hand, Shishi's attacks are sharp, but don't contain any divine energy or heavenly Tao will that remains on the wounds. Hence, she can only attack his body but not his spirit. As she can't damage his core, such an attack is useless. Long Chen shook his head, his expression just as grave as young master Chang Chuan's. Big sister Shishi, she should understand this. No? Then why? said Luo Shue. Long Chen said, from the way she formed hand seals and summoned her manifestation, it's clear that this is her first time unleashing this power. Her primal bloodline has only just awoken, and it hasn't fully merged with heavenly Tao energy. She is unable to add her own will and mental energy to her attacks. Long Chen knew that this was most likely related to Beishishi's seal. In order to conceal Beishishi's power, the High Firmament Academy had intentionally prevented her from awakening her primal bloodline. The benefit of this was that outsiders were unaware that she was a primal, and she was able to grow up peacefully without fear of being assassinated. Another benefit was that with her primal bloodline about to awaken, by suppressing it, the eruption would be even greater. Done properly, it could be very beneficial to her. However, there were drawbacks as well. Now that she had just awoken her bloodline, she was inexperienced and unable to control this power. Her metal energy was sharp but didn't possess enough destructive power. It was unable to cause any fatal injuries to Ku Wuaya. It wasn't that she wasn't strong but that her primal bloodline was too powerful to the point that she couldn't fully control it. She was unable to turn it into effective killing power. Hence, 
Long Chen started to worry for her. Bei Shishi suddenly stepped into the air, with three steps in three different directions. Thousands of figures of her appeared. It was as if there were thousands of Bei Shishi. People were unable to tell which was the true body. Ku Wuya suddenly roared and smashed his club in the air. After that, a powerful explosion unleashed golden light. They saw a golden sword had struck his club. From the thousands of Bei Shishis in the air, he had managed to pinpoint where the true Bei Shishi was. Even so, he coughed up a mouthful of blood and was sent flying by her sword. Bei Shishi's figure reappeared in the air. At some point, her lotus throne had vanished. But now there was a lotus mark on her sword. Well done. Long Chen slapped his leg, cheering for her. This was very clever of her. She had realized her own problem and had directly attacked Ku Wuya with her core energy. That golden lotus was her manifestation. Contrary to other people, it was also the source of her metal energy. She was unable to control that vast power properly and was unable to add her own mental energy and will to her attacks. Thus, she had been unable to cause the heavenly Tao to assist in her attacks and unable to cause any damage to Ku Wuya. However, by merging her core energy into her sword, she made it simple. Rather than technique, she competed purely with core energy, and that could make up for her lack of control. A clash of core energy was a direct clash of power. Her sword tore through the air. Ku Wuya once more blocked it and was sent flying again, coughing up blood. He was enraged. He didn't want to compete in core energy against Bei Shishi. Bei Shishi wasn't his ultimate goal. If he harmed his core while fighting Bei Shishi, he would be at a disadvantage in the next match if he encountered Ji Yui Yun or Long Chen. Whether it was damage to his physical body or his spiritual body, either was easier to heal. But if his core energy was damaged, it would be impossible to recover within half a month. His goal was the Golden Dragon Scale, and his ultimate opponent was Ji Yui Yun. He didn't want to waste his energy on Bei Shishi, but now, with every exchange, he was injured. Let's see how long you can last. Bei Shishi snorted. Ku Wuya wasn't using his core energy, resulting in her using up very little of her own core energy. She was confident that her core energy was stronger than Ku Wuya's. Boom, boom, boom. Bei Shishi repeatedly forced Ku Wuya back. The entire martial stage was covered in his black blood. No. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He shot up and shouted. Shishi, admit defeat. Chapter 3140 Sinister Ku Wuya Luo Bing and the others jumped in shock. Why would Long Chen suddenly say such a thing? Bei Shishi clearly had the advantage and was making Ku Wuya cough up blood with every blow. Haha. <laughs> Too late. Ku Wuya suddenly laughed and tossed aside his weapon. He then formed a hand seal. Corpse Devil 9 Revolution. Ghost Curse Devours Life. Black spots condensed in the air. No one had noticed that when he was coughing up blood, some of his blood would disperse into the air. Only Long Chen had noticed. That dissipated blood had secretly condensed into something that seemed like a diagram. When Long Chen saw that diagram, a sensation of intense danger filled his body. He instantly realized then that Ku Wuya was coughing up blood not because of Bei Shishi's core energy, but because he was setting up a trap. However, it was too late. The black spots condensed into sinister life forms. These life forms' upper bodies were like a toad but their lower bodies were hair-like tentacles. An air of resentment erupted. It was as if souls that had died wrongly 10,000 years ago were now coming to demand vengeance. Even divine lords felt a chill. The spectators were horrified. Is this the legendary corpse devils? When experts die, their resentment doesn't dissipate. Instead, it is absorbed and transformed into a beast that devours resentment. If it is allowed to grow forever, it can eventually destroy the entire world, said someone with a shuddering voice. There were all kinds of rumors about the corpse devil Dao. Most people didn't have much concrete information on it. However, there was such a record of it. These are corpse monsters, not corpse devils. A corpse devil can only be formed when an extremely powerful expert dies with too much resentment. They don't enter reincarnation and instead become a corpse devil. Such a corpse devil possesses its own instinctual will and is very difficult to control. Even if it could be controlled, it wouldn't be something that a divine flame disciple like Ku Wuya could control. Furthermore, 
he would need to constantly feed it his essence blood and soul energy just to prevent it from dying. Done badly, the corpse devil would devour him. Even if he could control one, he wouldn't be able to control this many. These can only be considered corpse monsters. I heard that the corpse devil Dao has an extremely sinister secret art in which you torture someone as cruelly as possible in order to create as much resentment, and then you extract that resentment to form a corpse monster. A corpse monster isn't as strong as a corpse devil, but it's easier to control, said a divine lord who was slightly informed on the topic. Just at this moment, black spots appeared on Beishishi's sword. A black pattern also appeared on her body. Those tentacled creatures opened their mouths and shot out black threads that matched the black patterns of Beishishi's body. Beishishi was shocked to find that she could no longer move. Some kind of power bound her body, and endless resentment spirits attacked her mind. Sharp cries rang out in her mind see. Ha ha ha, you're too naive. All that power, and you can't control it. You want to compete using core energy? Childish. I used my essence blood to lay down this corpse devil grand curse formation. You should accept your fate. Ku Wuaya walked toward Beishishi. Beishishi was shaking, and her eyes had lost focus. She was currently battling with the resentment spirits in her mind. If those resentful spirits won, her soul would be consumed, and she would fall under Ku Wuaya's control. Ku Wuaya suddenly turned to look at Long Chen and dipped his thumb down at him. Long Chen instantly shot up. Long Chen, don't. If you attack the formation, you will be killed. Luo Shue and the others instantly grabbed him. Ku Wuaya was intentionally provoking Long Chen to get him killed. Last time, although Long Chen had managed to get close to the formation, he hadn't attacked it, so he had only triggered the formation's passive attacks. If he actually attacked the formation, then the resulting backlash would wipe out even a divine lord. Long Chen would definitely die. However, Luo Shue and the others felt a burst of power, and their blood chi flipped inside of them. They were blown back. They cried out, but Long Chen had charged toward the martial stage. All the spectators cried out in shock. Just how was he so foolish? Runic swords immediately shot out of the barrier at Long Chen. Long Chen darkly dodged them as he pressed onward. Long Chen knew just how terrifying this curse was. He had also been cursed once. This kind of power wasn't something that Beishishi could resist. Ku Wuaya was even more terrifying than he had expected. Although Beishishi was powerful, she lacked experience and hadn't been able to see through his ploy. As for himself, due to being separated by the barrier, it was too late by the time he reacted. Ha ha ha. You really are an idiot. Why don't you come in and fight? If you don't dare, I'll take off Beishishi's clothes in front of everyone so that the world can enjoy her beauty. Ku Wuaya laughed when saw that Long Chen really had charged over. He walked up to Beishishi and extended a hand. Stop. Long Chen roared. He had reached the barrier, which stopped shooting runic swords. Instead, it was now condensing one giant rune that grew until it ultimately shrank into a single mark that was like an eye gazing at Long Chen. This eye contained a power that made heaven and earth shake. As long as Long Chen got closer, it would mercilessly wipe him out. Long Chen, don't. Lu Mingxuan and the others cried out, fraught with worry. Mu Qingyan was even crying. If Long Chen charged over, he wouldn't be able to save Beishishi. He would only throw away his life. That I possessed a power that made even divine lords shudder. As for Long Chen, he slowly extended a hand. Long Chen, don't. Beishishi suddenly opened her eyes and shouted. The resulting distraction caused her to cough up blood. Beishishi was currently fighting off the spiritual invasion of Ku Wuaya's curse. She had only just formed a temporary spiritual defense and was preparing to counterattack when she saw Long Chen standing in front of the barrier. In her panic, she shouted, only for this to cause her defenses to weaken. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, if you're a man, then come. Ku Wuaya reached his hand toward Beishishi, 